And we're gonna do the seed of 38A9DAPY. Damn. Right, is this a good seed, Austin? <laughs> it's the best seed. It's the really? best seed. It's the <laughs> We got the best seeds. You have no idea. Ooh, well, let me tell you, folks. That's not really a good Donald Trump impression. No. I wasn't trying. All right, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> we got you the might best well hit the seeds. seed again and try it. Yeah, I want to try it again. Yeah. This is the worst seed. Um, oh wait, yeah, it starts with kind of a nasty room, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, did you go right as well? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I there lived, you did too. Though. I lived. I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is tough. This is a little bit. All right. Interesting. What's the seed again, Austin? Let's do a new seed. Let's no, I'm right. you guys do a new He's seed. Living. I'm sticking with this. All right, one. give me a new seed. I don't, seed, wait, I don't remember the seed though. Okay, it's three eight Y nine or three, something. Three eight A nine D A P Y. Ah, yeah, Dappy. I remember. Dappy. Yeah. Dappy. Dappy. All right, let's try that again. I'm gonna go Great. right. I didn't go right. I died to the left actually. You died to the left. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. bad news, dude. <laughs> All right, so if, here's. Oh no. Oh god. I wanted to get into this discussion that we had in pre-chat accidentally. And I'm going to introduce it <laughs> pre-chat. Get it. <laughs> I'm going to introduce it here with uh, it, the way that it was introduced to me is that someone in chat who shall remain nameless said NL, can you believe that I made it till age 25 without knowing that I was circumcised? Wait, what? So my, I didn't know that part of it. As you might expect, my natural reaction to that was like, uh, what? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> you didn't know you were circumcised. And then I was like, so did you, like, you thought you were uncircumcised, and that's what an uncircumcised penis looked like, and you had, like, never seen the alternative. And he's like, no, not exactly. I just, like, found out over Christmas vacation, like, my dad nonchalantly mentioned that I was circumcised as a child. Hey, and son, I just... you remember your penis? <laughs> It's a great uh, conversation starter right there. I'm going to be honest with you. I still sort of don't understand how it happened, but much like that video that went viral of the Japanese dude who hadn't talked to his wife in 23 years despite living together and like having three yeah. kids, I'm just going to accept talk about that one too. <laughs> I'm just going to accept that there's some things in this world that I can't really explain, but can yeah. somehow exist just due to the law of large numbers or something, right? Yeah. And yeah. then chat was like well, what do you feel about circumcision? And I raised what I thought was a non-controversial opinion. I said, I don't really care either way. But I think you should wait, maybe, and stop circumcising babies. Wait till they're adults or they have a medical condition that necessitates it and let them make their own choice. Mm -hmm. How do you guys feel about that? I, I think you're right. I agree. You don't I mean, have to say that just because I introduced the topic, though. If no, <laughs> no, I absolutely agree. It, I well, mean, it's one of those things. It's it's like uh, you, you remember when they when they when we had that conversation and uh, and I was like about the the fan death in Korea. Right. Yes. And and and, and somebody brought it up on Reddit because um, I asked the question like, "There's got to be some weird you know thing that North Americans do mm, that you know, that's everybody it. believes." And that, and that was it. And I, I was like, holy shit, that's so right. Yeah, it's circumcision. Because we're taught to believe in North America that it's like, it's safer. But it's totally not. It's not it's... not safer, though, right? It's just like, if you if no, you still it, got it, the foreskin, you just have to clean it. Yes. Yeah, so basically, the, so, the... so in a way, it sort of is, but like not so much that like, you know, 80% of Americans circumcise their kids. Yeah, know? it's pretty wild, I mean, man. Yeah. Like it's, it's like I, I want to make the point that like if you if you haven't seen a video of a baby getting circumcised, yo, it's actually I barbaric. Really I already lived it, so <laughs> I don't need to see the video. It's it, you, it's not like a little clip and you're done. It's like it'll strap you down to the table and uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. awful. Well, that's what awful. people were like. Well, hear me out. As a baby, you don't remember the pain, so True. it's better than as an adult. Is that really the worst part of pain? Is the memory of the pain? It's mm. not... Because, like, I mean, I had my wisdom teeth taken out. In my opinion, they did not use enough anesthesia. When I think back to that day, I chuckle to myself and say, Eh, it was really painful. In the moment, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna pass out. This fucking sucks. This is horrible. Like, there's a huge disparity in terms of the... The magnitude of my emotions then and now. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're John McCain, and you think back to, like, the Viet Cong, like, 
strapping you up <laughs> to the ceiling with nylon ropes and then beating you with reeds. Like, yeah. is the memory worse than the the experience right. in the first place? I don't know. I'm going to suggest probably not, but... I think any kind of pain unnecessarily caused is pointless. Like, um, I agree with that sentiment just, as well. It's just like, yeah, they don't remember it, but like, you're still doing it. It's still a, a living thing experiencing yeah. the pain. Like, it's, I don't know if you can just say, oh, they don't remember it, so it's fine. I think the the worst part of it is that it's like kind of on shaky grounds as to why we do it. You know what I mean? Like, if it weren't for that, then, I don't know, yeah, there there are arguments to be made about the cleanliness, I suppose. Mm. It's next to godliness. But, like, exactly, what that expression yeah. was invented for, I believe. Yeah, I think you're correct. But, uh, but yeah, no, but, like, but like outside of that, it is pretty pretty silly. Do you guys want full disclosure here? <laughs> I don't know. It depends what, what, you, <laughs> depends what you're going to well, disclose. I mean, I mean, we've already revealed certain things about ourselves right, here. Yes. But, uh, but uh, I, I, my, my mother didn't want to do it. Cause, really? Because yeah, she didn't. She didn't want to. Well, you should get that. a you should get a doctor or at least like a a trained rabbi <laughs> to do it. Like she <laughs> shouldn't do it herself. You know, they don't do this themselves with their teeth. <laughs> that's what I. That's how I thought the system worked. How about the, how's that for a rule? Like you can circumcise your child, but if they're under the age of like fourteen, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> that's pretty fucked up. I don't know why I chose it. choosing fourteen was a huge misstep because now it makes it like. <laughs> It's bad and also weird. <laughs> but here's the other also thing about, like, weird. circumcision, though, is, like, you can't, like, have an opinion about it that isn't a strong opinion. Because I'm like, I think, like, maybe we should stop doing it to babies. And then people go, yeah, I felt dick envy my whole life because I got circumcised and now I feel like a freak. And I'm like, well, I'm not really, like, that sucks. Don't get me wrong. I'm not really with you on that one. Like, I'm, I'm living life. I, I feel relatively okay with it. And now, like, I don't want to be on your side anymore because people are gonna lump me in with you. <laughs> I just want to be the I want to be the moderate in this situation. Like, maybe I don't want to like, you know, do it to infants, but at the same time, like, life's all right. Somebody yeah. in my chat says the thing about cleanliness is absolutely not true. I mean, yes. The, the, I mean, like, you can be you can have just as clean a penis with a with an uncircumcised penis as you have. It's just you know. Slightly more maintenance, I'd imagine, right? Hey, I'm with you there. I get it. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't... Yeah, 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 yeah. The other you thing tell people... me. I guess you can, like... I mean, if you had, like, a botched circumcision, that's one thing. People are always, mm. like... Yeah, it's, like, ten times more sensitive if you, uh... If you don't yes. get circumcised. And I'm, like, another bonus for circumcision, really. As far as I'm <laughs> concerned, like... Really? There's, there's never really, one. there's never been a moment in my life where I was like, I wish this thing was more sensitive. I'll, I'll oh, be come on! You, I, can't, I can't think about freeballing it, like, normally. <laughs> if I, if I, like, alright, again, full disclosure, <laughs> but, like, you know, if I, if I get the skin back and I freeball it, it's like, mm, no go, no, absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, no, it's, it's too much. Yeah, it's not touching anywhere near my actual, you know, junk part of my junk. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. There, there is, there is a, a thing for sensitivity. But I mean, that's the thing, right? Is that like, like, uh, you know, like all of, all of like Europe doesn't really do it, outside of you know religious communities in religions that do that. Right. Yeah. Um, but like, uh, so it's it's weird over there. You can just say it. It's Scientologists. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tom Cruise, if you're watching. <laughs> but it's not a norm there, is what I mean. You know, like it is here. You seen the uh, the really weird, like, you can, like, apparently regrow your foreskin if you do, like, a really weird, like... That's, that's please like a, don't say like exercise. A... <laughs> I don't no, know like why a, that would be the weirdest, but... <laughs> It's like some kind of like clip thing that you clip onto your skin mm. and it slowly like weights it down and like pulls it. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> but there was like, I, I saw that post on Reddit and I bring it up all the time as like a cautionary tale. We're probably out of the age group where we could be sucked in by this snake oil, but for all you listening out there, all the Hulkamaniacs watching the show right now, this is the, <laughs> the most traumatic story I ever read on Reddit was like, this dude got like he bought a penile extender online. Oh god. So oh, it was no. like a stretching device. And the the way that it worked is you kind of like strapped it on. It was supposed to like pull on your dangus 
for like 45 minutes a day. But he oh, put it on insane. and he put it on and he fell asleep and oh, it like oh no. permanently like blew out I don't know like the tendon or the muscle in that area. Uh, so oh. now like he can't get an erection and his you know his dangle just kind of like hangs there. So like you know, be careful with the kind of apparatuses that you're and exercises that you're doing with your wedding tackle there, because you never know. I, mean, I gotta say, that's his fault. How the hell do you fall asleep with a penis sucker on your penis? Well, <laughs> I don't think it was a sucker. It was like a like a leg brace, but for your dick. You know, who like, buys that? Though? <laughs> who sells like, that, man? Someone on. who's uncomfortable with. Uh, with... Yeah, but I mean, like, how uncomfortable do you gotta be to do that, man? Does it at oh. least look big? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's true. Maybe he got his money's worth in the end. I think I'm Lord of the Pit or Little Brim. I'm going Lord of the Pit. Fuck this you this all. This guy got Lord of the Pit. Where the heck did I, yeah, I, I get Lord it. of the Pit? I got like the Upside Down Shadow Man. Upside Down, oh, upside shadow. down shadow Man. Oh, I hate that yeah. guy. That's yeah. a Josh item. <laughs> he deserved it? I'm not saying he deserved it. I mean, he doesn't deserve it on like a he's a bad person who deserves the suffer level. But I suppose if you do the crime, you do the time, right? Like, you fall asleep with a so, dick yeah. extender, then, you know? Yeah. Be careful. It's like, that's a total monkey's paw situation. Your dick's twice as mm -hmm. long, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> that is literally a monkey's, yeah, that that really a monkey's is. paw. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, yeah. Anyway. No, it sucks to be that guy. Well, I mean, that's like the, uh, you know that you know how they do the dick uh, resizing surgery or the enhancement there's surgery? A there's a dick resizing surgery. I mean, I'm not Well, no, it's not resizing. It's not, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's extending. extending. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not yeah, not too many like... people uh, outside of the Laterno <laughs> family clan go in for a dick is shortening. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be a surgery for that, too. I, right? I guarantee like, there is. Right? Yeah, I mean... Like, I don't know how it would work, but, you know. I don't either, but. There's an app for that exists. kind of thing, you know? Right, yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, yeah you, know, they, you know how they do it? They, they fucking, I'd love to. Let's, if chat hasn't go? turned the stream off by now, I mean, <laughs> they're in for the you're, long haul. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna like this. So, like, apparently, there is a little bit of dick inside your body. I hate right. it already. It's correct. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's a bit of dick in there. I'm dead. Um, <laughs> there's a bit of dick in there, and what they do is they they cut off they cut up you know your your little your pelvis area, and they just they just pull it out a bit. Yeah, just a little. The way extra. you describe it doesn't sound that bad, but the more I think about it, the more it sounds that bad. Yeah, well, I mean, it could lead to you actually not uh, being able to use your penis. The, okay. Is the surgery being done by a supernatural monkey missing one paw? Because it seems like every single uh, possible avenue is like, hey, your dick's bigger, but it doesn't work anymore. Like, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta live with the dick you got, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Or you could try to beat the odds. Mm. I mean, the thing is, though, like, and this is something that I've, I've talked about before, but, like... You know, not having the biggest stick, it's, it's not the end of the world. Like, it doesn't it really, really matter. Isn't. Like, if, you, if, if you're circumcised, though, you're fucked. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but, like, the thing is, like, if you've got your dick out already, like, you're, you're in the home stretch, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you don't, it's, it's not gonna, it's not going away at that point, right? Like, unless she, like, laughs you out of the room, but then in that case, you know, why you want to be with that lady yeah, in the first place? Yeah, she's kind of a jerk. Man. Yeah. Right, exactly, yeah, so... You know, it's like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't matter that much. I I mean, I I have a tendency to agree with you. Yeah, right? I mean, it's way better. Probably. Like, what if you got, like, a dick enlargement and you pull it out? It's, like, nine inches flaccid. Like, that's... You get laughed that's, at yeah. for a different reason. That's no. just, like, innately comical. You're gonna scare people off, yeah, man. You got a freaking... do at that point. You're supposed to have a little rattler in there and you got an anaconda, like... <laughs> Yeah, my anaconda don't want none. <laughs> it's not gonna get any. <laughs> exactly. Uh, anyway. It's the people that are, I feel like the people who get mad or like make fun of people who are like, you know, oh, who, you're a grower, not a shower. Ha <laughs> ha. You've got a small dick. I mean, no, I got a convenient dick. <laughs> yeah. This has got a good point. <laughs> That's a good there point. When I need it, it. It's like you got one of those, like, uh. <laughs> It's like an extending, you know, Swiss Army knife or something. You don't have a machete, you got like, you know... It's got a switchblade. Exactly. You don't have a machete, you have yeah. a switchblade. Yeah. But like, I mean, 
I've seen dick. What's wrong with grower versus showers? Well, I've seen dick. That's where I'm going. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen... I don't know if I've seen an erect penis in the wild that wasn't my own. I've seen flaccid dick at, like, you know... The gym. In the wild, yeah. Yeah, in the wild, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, like, no, if you no, were in the you. gym and then a dude had, like, a big old boner, you'd you're be like... You're coming at home. <laughs> you're coming there, right? I feel like you'd be like, come on, man. Put that thing away. Like, we're all just trying to yeah, <laughs> platonically, <laughs> like, get changed here and <laughs> talk about the right, weather yeah. girl or something, and you're getting the weird boner, right? But my isn't everybody a grower? Like, on a biological no. level, is that not just... How that works? Well, I think when people say, like, I think it's pretty significant when it's grower, not a shower. Everyone yeah. grows, but when you say grower, not a shower, it means you got like, you got a small dick. It's less than, it's small. Yeah, it's like okay, two inches to five, you yeah. know? You, you, you raise some, you raise some, some heat. Um, Cause like my, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, who cares? Like, who's going to be looking at a flaccid dick anyway? Yeah, right? right? Is there like a third category? Is there like a grower, a shrower, and a shrinker? <laughs> like, is it possible to have? Because here's it. You... I I feel like it's a false dilemma to be either a grower or a shower. I think pr pretty much everybody's a grower, and maybe you got a little show in you as well. It's more like a Kinsey scale sort of thing, like uh, like a mm. gradient. Where do you fall on the grower to shower gradient? Mm, but I will yeah. I will rescind my understanding of things unless. If there's a shrinker, if there is a significant percentage of the population that is larger flaccid than erect, then that I will. That can't be possible, right? I like, don't think that's possible. Like, mathematically, that's just not possible, right? You got more blood, you're taking up more space. I don't think you can... That's, what I'm, right? that's like, why I'm saying I think it's a false dilemma. Yeah! Like, I, everybody's got to be a grower to some degree. Chad, are any of you shrinkers? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know right now. I've already told you that a bunch of things about my penis that I never thought I'd share live on air. So, I mean, you know, it's open season right now is all I'm saying. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, grower like... grower is at least three times the size of limp when erect? Three what? times! That sounds crazy. I didn't re I, I Okay, so I thought I was a grower, not a shower. <laughs> Apparently, I'm neither. If what if you're at, case. like, 2.8, but you're not really a shower either? Like... <laughs> That would be bad, right? Like you, you like yeah. pull it out, and you're like, "Well, it's not that impressive, but it doesn't really grow that much either." Then you're neither a shower nor a grower. Is that possible? Yeah, Is there a fourth category that's been unconsidered? Well, there, you'd be a shower, but you just got nothing to show. But that really. feels like you know. that's disingenuous, right? To be like, "I'm a shower, but only because my growing is so bad." I feel like you're getting false, you know, glory from being a shower without having earned it. <laughs> I mean, I suppose so, yeah. We gotta, we gotta do an analyst has dick assessment. Like, off yeah. <laughs> off screen. This, this guy. <laughs> off screen. Off yeah. screen, yeah. Everybody get your measuring tape out. You know, yeah, we're going this. to PAX, right? We can do it. <laughs> In my case, we're... I gotta get one of those uh, little unicycle things that you could walk along. And oh, yeah, okay. I'm with you. There I am, so. <laughs> get the Hubble telescope. Right, right. What's, exactly, what's, what's yeah. something else ridiculously large? Like, just comically uh, huge. The Large Hadron Collider. Right, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you if yeah. you need, you then need to he, put my dick in both ends and then no, I think that the Large Hadron Collider is perfect because you use it to combine two incredibly small things like your dick and the tape <laughs> measure needed to measure how small your dick is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Just says show. Rob, we are not seeing each other's penises at PAX. Oh God! All right. Well, I guess I'm out of the dick measuring debate. You she act like we haven't already done yeah, that. She doesn't have to be there. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying, really. It's a good run, by the way. Yeah, like it got a lot better. It did, yeah. I I gave up and now I have a brimstone run, which I feel pretty good about. <laughs> to be way honest to do it. with you. Ooh, like it gets pretty good. Yeah, I was already so at the, the runs a grower, not a show. <laughs> yeah. Now Can we just talk about guess. food instead? I mean, if you got <laughs> if you got some food related topics you want to discuss, by all means. Yeah, give us something foodie that like is uh, is controversial. Dare I say? That's um, what I want. Tell me something food. Wow! wow. <laughs> tell me about linguine. Yeah. <laughs> butter? Well, I, I just feel like the butter thing 
is What's the butter thing? ignorance. Well, where do you keep your butter? Oh, right, right. So people in my chat asked me that too. Yeah. Um, I keep it in the fridge. Yeah, I disagree with your butter placing measures. My, I understand. My mother and or my parents, I guess they do the little bit of butter out, rest the butter in. Right, the fridge. that's the way to do it, man. I think that's a good idea. Like, I mean, if you have like a butter bell or like a butter holder, then yeah, it's better to keep it out. I just don't have one, so it doesn't I, really matter that see, much. See, that's what I uh, I have the utmost respect for that. I try to keep a little. I actually keep all of my butter in the fridge because I don't have a butter dish, and I just deal with like having to melt the butter a little bit when I put it on the toast. However, yeah. uh, the ideal, in my opinion, is a little butter out, a little in the fridge. But you fuckers, not you specifically, but <laughs> am Americans, <laughs> you're so paranoid about food safety. Oh, give me the pork chop. Can you cook that to fucking fallout wasteland levels? I don't want to accidentally, like, take a poop yeah. anytime this week. Um, they're like, butter has to be in the fridge. If it's not in the fridge, it goes bad. Yeah! In, like, a week, <laughs> the same pace at which your bread goes bad. Like, imagine that. Mm, I guess yeah. if people don't use the butter that much, then they wouldn't do it, though. True. See, I don't use butter all that often. I don't have toast every day. That said, I'd still do it. I'd still, like, if I had a butter dish or a butter bell, which the butter bell lasts a you lot keep longer. saying this, but I don't know what that is. It's like a pot that holds butter, but it what? like keeps it. Yeah, like it's weird. I don't know. Like I've, I've I've heard of it and I've seen pictures of it, but I've never used one. But it, Jack, but it's, it's give supposed me an to hold some butter, Bill. Hook me up. <laughs> it's weird, man. It's like a ceramic pot-looking thing. What about ants? It's a covered dish. Yeah, it's it's in a it's in a glass container. It's I mean, ants are ants. That's a different issue. Ants are pretty strong. If I saw like eight ants lift up like. <laughs> the one pound lid of a glass butter dish, I would just accept that we're no longer the dominant species. <laughs> yeah, they just deserve it at that exactly. point. Really. At that point, take the butter. I don't need it. <laughs> Clearly not as much as they do. Exactly. They, they've earned it, dude. I will understand, some people are like, hey, like it's always like, hey, douchebag. But I don't know why. <laughs> but like, hey, it's really hot where I live and it melts like real quick. I'm like, All right, I get yeah. that. If it's like 35 Celsius where you live in the summer... Absolutely. Keep your butter in the fridge. That makes perfect sense. You have an excuse. Everybody else, fucking show me your thermostats, because I don't buy it. I will say, though, on the other, for to play devil's advocate, even though I'm, I am sure, kind of yeah. on your side in this debate, um, it's not that, it's not the end of the world to have to either heat up your butter slightly or, you know, heat up a knife and cut through it. I'm going to be real with you. I've had a lot yeah. of toast in my day. Lots with refrigerated butter, lots with not refrigerated butter. Not refrigerated butter wins every time. People go... I I'm with you. People go, oh, just like, the toast is hot enough to melt it. I don't know what thermonuclear toasters you guys have. <laughs> like, if you don't get the butter on that toast within like 0. point negative a million seconds, it's not going to melt it fast enough. Or you're slicing it like so thin, you got Ray Liotta with a fucking razor blade, like just getting a little bit off of it. It's amazing to me. and I like, like overdoing the butter, too. Yeah, me too. It's beautiful. Agreed. You can also melt it in the microwave. But then it's like, that's not the way you should do it. You get, like, another dish dirty and then have to use your microwave just to spread it on some toast. That's not right. I've done mm. it. But, I am I mean, it's, it's a compromise, I guess, is what I'm saying. Mm. You know what's completely unrelated but you made me think of? Okay. Like, we're talking about ants, right? right what yeah. if just like all the bugs in the world are like, you know what? These humans can probably just leave. Yeah. Like, and they decided to rise chance? up. Yeah. yeah like, well, it's I, like, I think there's more would. like bug species than like, like the number is so fucking absurd. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like it's like having them fight like a hundred babies, right? Like you, you do a. You'd, be able to kill a lot of them. Plus, I mean, we have technology. Yeah, but like, imagine all the ants. Like, you know how many ants are? It's like billions. Yeah. I, just, I feel... Imagine a, a swarm of ants just like coming inside your house. They're coming in the gym and... <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, no, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I think if they got like the power players, they'd be in a much better position. Like, if they got like house flies, that'd be annoying. You know, you'd be like, man, where, yeah. where did all these flies come from? But you'd, you could probably like, you know, just get like a flamethrower homemade or something and just you could kill like a million every time you hit the aerosol can but if they got like bullet ants or something like that yeah. fire ants yeah. then we're, now we're talking like i mean if they were like really smart and they decided to like strategically attack all of our crops at once yeah then 
then yeah, they, like they they probably stand a good chance of like wiping out humanity, I suppose. I think it'd be no contest. I think they'd win instantly if they had this. Really? Stunts. Yeah. Oh. Dude, you know how many bugs there are? Like, someone give me the number of how many bugs there are on the on the. I, I it's think like... that your anecdotal thing is correct. I thought that there were yes. more species of insects than human beings on the planet. It's, I think it, you're probably it, right about that. Yeah. But I mean, like, they'd have to, like, swarm, to kill, like, a single human, they'd just have to, like, swarm you and, you know, Like, climb down your throat or something. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kill, it doesn't take kill, that many like, ant bites to kill you. Kamikaze. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you get, like, swarmed and they're all over your body, yeah, they'll, they'll kill you real quick. I mean, um, if, if an animal is not poisonous, does that mean it's not poisonous, or does that just mean, like, under normal conditions, you could never die to the bite of this animal. Like, if a billion ants bit you, what do you die of? Like, ant saliva hey. overtaking your bloodstream or something? Can we take a, just a quick moment? Can somebody explain <laughs> to me what a Butterbell was? Okay, just, okay. just so quick derail. Butterbell has two parts. One holds the butter and is put upside down to the other part that has some water in it. The water will seal it airtight as well as cool because of evaporation. Well, that's there really neat, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool technology. Anyway, People back yeah, in the so day wrong. came up with all sorts of, like, crazy ways to keep food good. Mm -hmm. They should have just invented the refrigerator. Would have saved them a lot of time. Like, why <laughs> yeah, why really. waste all the blue science going for Butterbells when you could just <laughs> go straight to the refrigerator? I mean, they had batteries in Baghdad. Come on, just use them for the electricity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the power the grain point. silos. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the animals are venomous, usually. Oh, I guess, Not yes. Oh! But, like, Wait, that's, hold on. that's so <laughs> semantics, though. Like, <laughs> so, Wait, what do you mean they're venomous usually? Can we well, there are poisonous them? animals. Poisonous just means something else. Poison yes, means but the... usually means most of them, and I don't think most animals are venomous. Most animals that are poisonous or venomous are venomous. I, I would agree with that. The, yes. I would say that all animals that are venomous are venomous. <laughs> I, I, Hold on. I don't what? I know I, what, what part <laughs> am I missing here? Because that seems well. well like... Where where Austin is drawing uh, the distinction is that I said poisonous when actually poison and venom are two different things. Oh, okay, gotcha. And and I was being I was using a colloquial shorthand without defining that in advance. Understandable, understandable. I'm glad we cleared that up. Oh, I guess I'll like go to the void. You oh. can't eat poisonous animals, they don't have Where'd you get the void? It just showed up after the mom's hard fight. Oh. Oh, sweet. Suck, dude. No, 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 no. The void area. Oh. Not the void item. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's kind of wasted my Pandora's box, but that's okay. Oh, I should have fought well. Hush first. You're right. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, someone else uh, brought up in my chat uh, another another food debate we could have. Um, uh, steak. Anything or, related to steak. How right, to cook yeah. it, you know, temperature to eat it at, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff. What here's, kind of cut? Here's a slightly unpopular opinion. Although well done will ruin most steaks, if you're paying for it, I think the chef should get off his high horse and just make it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, does any chef stop you from having well done steak? Well, there's always like there's anecdotes on Reddit or something where like, be like, if somebody came into my restaurant and ordered a wagyu beef steak cooked well done, I wouldn't <laughs> make it for him. I'd be like, okay. Well, you're obviously quite an artist, but like at the same time, this dude's dropping like 400 bucks. So maybe you should just do your fucking job and not be such a snob. Yeah. Although, I mean, c couldn't wouldn't it also be fair for the chef to be able to come out and be like, hey, dog, just uh, excuse me, one more, Shen. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe consider trying it a different way, because, I mean, then what's, you know, hey. Right. And if he still says no, then, you know, fucking have it well done. But, uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, also, like, what's okay to put on a steak in your eyes? Horseradish. Hmm, that's See, an interesting choice. I didn't even know that that was a thing until I was at um, my in-law's house for Christmas, and they made prime rib and then they came out with like this weird white jar and we're like do you want some horseradish and i was like i wasn't against it i didn't use it but i wasn't against it but i was like people do this yeah, yeah. it's good it gives it a kick 
Yeah, I mean, I can see it. I've never done it, but... It's worth a shot. You'll probably like it. Yeah, you, you know, you can't put too much, though, or it's, like, too much. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's a lot of flavor and a little bit. It's like Caucasian like wasabi or something. Mm. Pretty much. I mean, it, it, like, is what we have for wasabi yeah. in the U.S., so... True, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a topping on a steak. Except for maybe butter. No A1 steak sauce? Waffle? Uh, wait, you are, you're obviously correct. I have had, okay. I have had steak sauce on a steak, but I try to, I, I separate steaks into like two different foods. One is like good steaks, and I will not use a steak sauce on those. And then one is like shitty cut of meat, like grilled until it's a piece of bark, basically. And then I'm like, that's, that's yeah. a different food. I'll put A1 on that and enjoy it as well. Absolutely. That's, uh, that's when I think about condiments to uh to put on a steak it's like was it cooked wrong okay there's yes. getting some fucking steak sauce on that <laughs> shit there's like nothing more wrong in the world than like a dry steak that is <sighs> it's such a waste because it's, it's like such yeah. a waste and it happens man even good good cooks will fuck it up sometimes mm, mm -hmm. why are you I questioning agree. butter right. on a steak well, I, mean, I think that's pr fairly common Butter on a steak? Yeah. Sometimes you go to a steak, uh, a steakhouse, and they'll give you like a, a pat of butter to place on it at your leisure. That uh, I mean, they're they're usually cooked in butter. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah. Personally, um, you know. Um. Okay. So, are, is there any scenario in which, um, is there any scenario in which ketchup is acceptable? Mm, I would say no. no. Unless no. wait, wait, wait. There is one. If you're having okay. like Salisbury steak. Yeah, but does that count? I mean, I would I would suggest that that is a different food group altogether. But... Yeah, yeah, I I agree with you on that. See, cause like that's the thing, man. I know people do that. Yeah, it's, it's like, too much. That's that's blasphemous to me. That's such a waste of a good steak. Wait, wait, no. Putting ketchup on it. What? Austin, are you waiting? Are you waiting this out to see how we fell on the ketchup issue before you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had just finished my run, so okay. I kind of zapped from the combo for a second. I, here's maybe, this is a very Northern lion -y opinion. I'll, I'll accept that. There's like so many different ways to order a steak. There should only be three. <laughs> there should be, well done is obvious. And then like, barely cooked at all is obvious. And then medium rare in the middle. That's all you need. If someone orders their steak medium well, I'm like, are you like a secret shopper that's here to test the chef to see if he gets into like the right exact degree of internal temperature? Yeah, I can agree with that. If you get, if yeah. you're gonna order a medium well, just pick a side, dude. Yeah. It's like Although, when people order their eggs over medium. I'm like, no, you're just, you can't, you can't sit on the line like that forever. Take a, take a selection, over easy or over hard. See, sometimes though, like I will order a steak medium rare, even though I actually typically like my steaks at like medium or rare. Mm. But like I'll order it medium rare because if that's if I expect the chef to overcook it, right? You know what yeah. I mean? So like I I, you know. I see chefs, and this is probably the right thing to do, uh, is they'll always undercook it. In a lot of places, they'll really? you ask for medium rare, and you'll get like rare. Yeah, I mean it's the right thing to do because like. If you're cooking for like a family or yourself and you undercook it, you can just go pop back on the grill again see, and you yeah. know cook it a little bit more. Yeah, no, I, you I overcook mean, I it, you're fucked. No, I, I agree with you, but in my experience, chefs usually overcook it. Like I'll ask for fucking rare and then it'll come back shoe leather. You know what I mean? Um, what do you think about like places. when you go to a burger place and they ask you how you want your burger cooked? Yeah, I always just that, am like I, it, it feels like a test to me. It's like shouldn't <laughs> you know? How the burger should be cooked? You made a thousand of these. I, I ordered a burger because I like a burger. I didn't realize there was a condition involved. Mm. Like, I will always yeah. get medium rare, but by the time it comes yeah. out, you're not going to, like, you're going to slice it open and see, well, there actually, there's no pink in the middle, so you really fucked up this hamburger. It's ground yeah. meat. Like, yeah. I mean, I think, I think, a, I think a burger shouldn't actually go below medium really to be honest because the thing is like when you have it doesn't it doesn't in my opinion it doesn't cook properly unless it's uh medium because then you have the um 
almost cold bits sometimes in the, in the yeah. middle when it's uh, when it's raw, just because it's ground beef, so it doesn't it doesn't. It's hard to cook properly. evenly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And by, so. Yeah. And by hard, I mean like thermodynamically implausible. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. But uh. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that front. I, that's what. I, that's how I feel about the whole burger thing. I feel like I always but just also, get it medium rare because I'm like I feel for the dude at the back. He's got to put like twelve burgers on the grill uh, every half hour, and he's got to remember like one person. yeah, exactly. Right, right, yeah. Well, eight people got in line and ordered medium rare, and then one person right. was like, "Oh, can I have it uh, medium well?" It was literally like fourteen extra milliseconds of cooking time. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a family member that I uh, remember. We went to Subway, and uh, he's oh, no. he's an, he's he was not, an interesting family member. Not the right uh, establishment to make your own custom orders. Yeah, no, he he was like, uh, he, he, I, don't, I don't know if he had never been to Subway before, but he's like, uh, can I get a six, no, 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 can I get a, uh, an eight inch, a nine inch sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> and, and his dad was Find like, out the he, ruler. yeah, he, he's like, you can't do that, Just six or twelve. <laughs> that is really good. I thought you were going to say like, can I get the the Philly cheesesteak sandwich, like, medium. yeah, well done or medium. <laughs> it's probably well done to begin with, I guess, but that's really good. <laughs> that's pretty good. I felt bad for the worker because he just looked at him like, I don't have to do this, right? <laughs> he, he was done with his day at that point. My brother doesn't have anything on his burgers, just the burger, ketchup, and the bun. Mm, that's okay. bad, but I can't be mad at it. No, I was I like that either. for a while. Like, you can ask Michael A.L. Fox when he's on later. Like, we used to drive to Subway sometimes in high school for lunch, and then, like, I would get a turkey sandwich on wheat, and then, like, just turkey and mustard <laughs> I've, I've grown a lot since then i would like I, I, I hope so because that that sounds like a really boring sandwich yeah to be honest no i you. mean like in hindsight it wasn't really the greatest <laughs> to be honest with you <laughs> sounds pretty shitty really but um yeah we'll see the thing is with me <laughs> and maybe i'm wrong here what what did i miss i just died in the best way <laughs> oh okay Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, well, well, see, like, for me, I think a burger that's, like, overstuffed or, like, a burger that I have to squish down, Yeah, I don't I don't like that. You I could don't... not be more, like, we could not be more on the same side. Yeah, because, like, that's the thing. It's just, like, it, when I can't wrap my lips around it, it's like, <laughs> well, then I'm not really eating a burger, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. eating different parts at different times, you know? I want to I wanna take a bite and get all the elements and be good to go, you know what I mean? Genuinely, I, I will avoid ordering a burger if I think it's going to be too big because it becomes like a job. Sometimes they give you like a steak knife, and that's fine. I'll cut it. I understand. But then you like cut it, and you're like, oh, there's a toothpick in it, and I just cut through the toothpick, and now like everything's all mangled, and the plate right, tectonics yeah. aren't working out anymore. And I'm like, should have just gotten that tuna sandwich, dude. <laughs> I, I agree with you on burgers, but I like uh, when my sandwich is stacked too high for me to eat. I don't know. I just really? I like having a lot of meat and a lot of everything on there. Yeah, I could see that. Although like, there there have been times though when I've had like a sandwich and I'll take a bite and it's like, oh yeah, that was a good lettuce sandwich that I'm having. Now I'll have yeah, my ham yeah. sandwich with the next bite. You know, like yeah. it's just like ugh. For burgers though, it's like it's too. You got the juice, you got the sauces, and if it's too big, it just squirts out. Yeah, I just feel Sandwiches like you're trying you too hard. At some point as yeah. well, like you're trying to justify like your 11.95 burger mm -hmm. by throwing like I like maybe this is an unpopular opinion. I don't want a single onion ring on my burger. Put the onion ring <laughs> on the side and I'll eat it. I'll eat it on the burger as well. But you're just adding things to the burger that don't need to be there. It's just tall now. I don't want it. I'm I mean, okay I want with it. onion rings on a burger, but like. If that's the only thing, because that adds some serious height to the burger. I've you know actually had that at uh, Carl's Jr. We uh, Carl's Jr. didn't have like a restaurant on the south side of Houston, and they finally put one there. And I was like, "All right, we'll go adventurous." And they had the the like barbecue sauce onion ring, yeah, uh, burger, and it was so hard to eat. The onion ring, you're right. The onion ring added like it doubled the size of the burger. It's mm -hmm. too much. It was yeah. too much. It was good it's, though. It's the height of the patty. Yeah, no, no, it is. Like it, it can be for sure. Unless unless you don't eat it quickly and it has like lettuce and tomato and shit on it, and then all of a sudden you got a soggy ass onion ring, you know, yeah, that's halfway fair. through the burger. <clears throat> that's that's shitty. People are like NL so picky. I'm actually like not a picky eater at all. 
Like, we're mm -hmm. running a little low on groceries. You know what I had for lunch? Is a handful a of <laughs> well, the leftover deli meat. We don't have any, like, good bread to make a sandwich. So I was like, yeah, I got, like, four minutes. Just shove a bunch of, like, deli meat into my mouth <laughs> before the show. Like, I need, I need the calories. Like, well, I don't need the calories. But I would <laughs> like the calories. So I just, like, you know, had to go. But yeah, I'm if I'm ordering at a restaurant, I'm like, could you just make the burger smaller? Mm, yeah, no, I feel you. It's just as long as I could fit it in my mouth, I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's going down my throat if I could fit it in my mouth. That's all I'm saying, chat. That's all I'm saying. I like where this is going. <laughs> it's the same with like, with like pizza. The the ideal, the platonic ideal, the pizza tonic <laughs> ideal for pizza <laughs> is not. A pizza with the most toppings possible. I've been down that road once, perhaps under the influence. Uh, in our college town uh, pizza place, had a deal that was like unlimited toppings for like you know twenty three bucks a pizza. So you're paying like a premium price, but you can get whatever we want. So we're like, hey dude, right. check this out. Bet you never heard this one before from a bunch of geniuses like us. Why don't you give us one pizza that's got all the meats that you have in your establishment? And then give us a second pizza that has all the vegetables. <laughs> Those pizzas showed up. They were heavy and like tall they and didn't hold up. and gross and just like you bite into one pizza and you're like pepperoni, bacon, sausage, ham, spicy sausage, like mm. spicy pepperoni, chicken breast. You're like that's too much. You bite into the other one and it's like artichoke hearts, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, you know, like cucumbers, mm. zucchini. You're like what? No. This is, mm -hmm. we were so stupid. <laughs> and if the pizza, like, if you need two hands to hold up a slice, then, you know, you've, you've gone in a bad direction, I feel, generally. Like, I, I think yeah. uh, a pizza should be able to, you know, hold up on its own for the most part, you know? Um, there should be droopage. There's nothing wrong with a little yeah. droopage, but... Uh, but like if you if when you try to pick it up from the crust and then you're worried about everything on the pizza sliding off, I'm with you. It's too much stuff. Yeah, I'm too with you stuff. on that one. I'm a simple man when it comes to pizza. Just uh, give me that pepperoni and cheese. I'm good. A simple mm. pizza is a perfect pizza. Like a yeah, like a tomato tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, basil. Perfect. Mm. Tomato yeah, sauce, yeah. pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. Perfect. <laughs> there's some, there's some common say, elements here. I've been trying a new pizza because there's a new pizza place and I wanted to be adventurous. It has, uh, I told her, Rob, it has artichoke hearts, yeah. chicken, mm -hmm. uh, spinach, and olive oil as the mm -hmm. sauce. Right. It's like a spinach olive oil sauce and it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it, it just, it kind of, you'd think spinach and olive oil would like not work as a sauce, but it totally works and it, it's a great, like, fresh taste to it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can see it. Like artichoke a, is an underappreciated pizza topping, in my opinion. You ever have like a, a Mediterranean pizza, like feta cheese on it? Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yeah, in I my agree. opinion. I actually really like feta in general. It's a top I think tier feta cheese. Is a very underrated. Yeah, it's an underrated cheese, man. Yeah. I like, like if I can get a salad, I will like, and and this is an option. I'll always go Greek salad. Yeah, give me some fucking olives, some feta. I'm good Red to onions. go. Dude, yeah, absolutely. fuck yeah. I go a little silly. I don't go silly with salads, but I just want like lettuce, carrots, and then a, a, an unreasonable amount of ranch. Even Ugh. though I'm like a huge ranch person. That's like That's fast food salad. salads before the year 2000. <laughs> Remember, like my aunt was on a, a diet. This is like 1998. So we went to Wendy's and she got a salad and it was just like half of a sliced cucumber, three lettuce leaves, and like two julienne carrot slices. <laughs> like, man, that is. Salads are great, but you get what you give. That one, that one was not in a good place. Yeah. Wait, do you get know, your like... do you get your ranch salads with ranch or hold the ranch? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. Is it a is it a ranch lettuce tomato salad? And you're like, hold the lettuce and tomato. Just give me a bowl of ranch. <laughs> I want someone in the audience to go try that damn sandwich and at least give me some. <laughs> well, kind they, of have to, they have to split People test have. it because they have to do it with a uh, one with ranch, one without, and see which one's better. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that's a matter of preference. Well, that's <laughs> gotta, the, the whole the, point the, of the whole thing. The question is whether or not it'll hold up without the ranch. 
Well, but you're paying for the ranch, aren't you? The They're not giving you like a 60 cent rebate because you didn't get ranch. No, I just don't want the ranch. I want you the ranch in that sandwich. But why? Yeah, because well, it, it works without it. But it, it, not, <laughs> it not needing it doesn't mean it's better without it. I th it's it's like, you know, like, the... <laughs> it, it, well, the reason I don't like it is because it's a toasted sandwich and right. we got like hot ranch on it. It's just gross. Mm. Hot ranch is nasty. Okay. I, I, I mean, I agree with you on that front, but that's like more of a problem with uh, Subway itself, I feel, than, than, you know, not having any natural lubrication to your sandwich. You could ask him to put the ranch on afterwards, you know? Put the not ranch on cold. after. <laughs> put the ranch They don't have, free. like, super cold ranch there. <laughs> so it needs to be ice cold ranch <laughs> in order for it to be... No, it would be... Can you throw that ranch, ranch in the freezer, please? <laughs> You got a blast chiller for your ranch, and then maybe I'll have Good it on Heston Blumenthal ranch. to bring out the liquid nitrogen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Austin. That's yeah, unreasonable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the nitrogen, though. You guys like well, Dippin' Dots? No, yeah. actually, I do not. You don't like Dippin' Dots? There's something about Dippin' Dots. Kate loves them. I will eat, like, almost anything. There's a Dippin' Dots machine at the movie theater. This is like eight stories now, but um, <laughs> there's a Dippin' Dots machine at the movie theater. So Kate will get some Dippin' Dots. It's the one food that I will never steal. It's the, like the perfect food for her to get because <laughs> I will never eat it. It's with the little weird candy coating tastes like chemically in my mouth and it, it freaks me well, out. You got it. That's the mat. There's the magic flavor of Dippin' Dots that everybody loves. It's the banana split flavor. Oh. You gotta get the banana split flavor. Never had it. Doing it wrong. I was not aware of this actually. That is the most important rule of Dippin' Dots. As Nick, he, I think he agrees. We talked about it before. See, you I'm, can actually I'm, get Dippin' Dots like delivered to your house in like a liquid nitrogen container or some shit. What a world. Yeah, but didn't the company go oh, go under and then and then it un went under or something like know. that? Like there was some something weird with that whole company. I don't know. Like I I'm I'm a man who is right in the middle between the both of you. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just think it's all right. You know, I'd kind of rather have ice cream. Yeah. To be honest. Some people like, in chat but, are saying uh, Dippin' Dots is obviously like a branded name. It's yeah. like super nitrogen cooled ice nitrogen, yeah, ice cream. Yeah. It takes the place of like candy coated ice cream pellets that usually come in like a cup. And the mm -hmm. the secondary selling point is that when you order them out of the machine, like this vacuum comes down and sucks the cup up and it goes like, <laughs> and then it drops mm -hmm. it out in the front slot for you. At least it does. I've never here. seen the machine before. Really? Usually, yeah. The Dippin' Dots that I used to get were uh, they just served it to you like in a scoop. Did I thought that was in? like, I actually thought that was like the charm is that you get it and you're like, oh, the ice cream's not that good, but the machine's kind of cool, so I'll buy them. Mm. Uh, no, I, the, the, I just hate it because like, they're they're so hard to get. Like you can only get them in like stadiums and stuff. Yeah. You have to go like yeah. I, movie. We don't have them in movie theaters here. They're in stadiums, and I saw there was one in a Bucky's. Which is mm, a very is, Texan. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't Sounds know like Bucky's it. Is, Bucky's is, is a America gas station that is. It's a gas station that's the size of like Walmart. Mm. It is. It does it, it have a diner like, too? No, but it has like a like a bunch of like it has like a jerky stand. You know, oh, a bunch okay. of beef jerky. It does it have like a, a drive-in? Uh, don't think so. But <laughs> does I don't it know? It's got a lot of stuff, man. Can you get breakfast so there and have some probably um, Bucky yeah. waffles? <laughs> 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 well, you also have that like dope ass jerky store in Texas, right? Like, I want to go to there. Like, that sounds amazing, dude. That's like Bucky's. <laughs> Is that Bucky's? <laughs> that's Bucky's, yeah. That's the jerky store. <laughs> that's Shit. the one I was talking about. The one you, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, that's Bucky's then, dog. Fuck it. I'm, I'm. I take back all I said about Bucky's. I'm. I'm in. Let's it's go. Legit. And that the, the 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 new one that uh that they just built has a freaking Dippin' Dots, but I would, I didn't get it because I was driving. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get, get fucked it. up on Dippin' Dots when you're when you <laughs> no, drive. Like, like, they're, they're hard to, to eat while driving. Right, you gotta hold fair. the spoon in the thing. Mm. You just eat them in the store, dude. Eat them in the store. <laughs> <laughs> I knew How do you guys coming. feel about uh, where you guys come down on astronaut ice cream? Isn't that I've the same as Dippin' Dots? No, it's similar in in I probably it's it's creation but it's 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 freeze-dried ice cream essentially so they so serve you on airplanes no that's what they serve you in, oh fuck in me national, i guess yeah. <laughs> it, like you get you get it like like if you go ever go to like a science museum or a science center or something you'll you can pick them up there 
usually. Well, like when I go to a science museum, I'm not going there on account of the ice cream. I'm going there to learn a little something about the world I live in. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I suggested going to the science museum when Nick and Lynn were in town. Yeah. Uh, because I knew that I could get astronaut ice cream there. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I do that. That's, I'm, I'm yeah. that guy. At least you know where you stand. Like. Yeah. Yeah. It's so rare to get it. It's like it's almost like eating a big ass Lucky Charms marshmallow. Oh, okay. You, that's the perfect. Yeah. You've you've conjured the mm -hmm. taste for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's fantastic. It's it's wonderful. I enjoy it very much. We've gotten a lot of tweets. People saying, "Yo, I tried Buttercrunch, and you were totally right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best, man." <laughs> I'm I'm out of it right now. I'm real sad. Gotta go to the store. Got to like eight more pints. Wait till you get a, a tweet from the distributor that's sending another truck up, and then you can go to the grocery <laughs> store and get twelve <laughs> gallons. Listen, you, you guys have a. You guys also sell bathtubs here. Can I just get a <laughs> bathtub instead of uh, the butter crunch? Is there any way you what? could just bring the butter crunch to my house instead of? <laughs> that would be awesome, dude. <laughs> it's got an Amazon drone to do it. I'd be with it. Pay good money for that. What is King Baby? Yeah, I don't know. Baby King. But like when you just charge, it doesn't move. Like if you're, if you're shooting, it doesn't move. And when you let go, it moves. So maybe you can That's position dope. it and like try to block shots with it or something. But I've never well, used it properly. Well, I'm playing a Zazel, so it's really not helpful. Oh, yeah. No, me too, actually. Yeah, get sucked, son. In all seriousness, isn't six pints less than one gallon? Yeah, that, that's actually a great question. Six pints is three liters. A gallon is like three point eight liters or something. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know the exact math on it or anything, but I, I will say that I think Austin said eight pints a month. No. Like six. once I. Oh, okay. Well, fine. Six pints a month. Either way, Austin, I'm trying to defend you here. I was going to say that it's not that much ice cream. You know, I know that's why you know I was what? so confused. It's like you were so nice to me about now, it, Austin. Now it's too much ice cream. It's still a right? lot of that. ice cream. It's but... not a lot of ice cream. Well, the for one, the one thing that I still take issue with is you just like, like, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, at a stretch, you can make it into two servings, and I'm just like, wait, no, hold on a second. A single pint is not a single serving of ice cream. Right. That's, yeah. That's, it is for me though. That's, that's see that that's where I. I that's why. Get... That's why I only get six because I know I'll eat too much if I eat anymore. <laughs> Fair. Six, okay. Six pints a month is not a lot, but if you're having a pint per serving, then. Well, the issue you know. with the pint is that you eat like half. Of it and you put the thing on and if you don't eat it again soon it gets that fucking icicle shit inside uh, of it. You can't let it melt dude. Like you just yeah. can't let it melt at all. You gotta eat it while it's still like freezing cold issue, otherwise you, know? you get the crystals. Yeah. Well, I don't know about or you, you don't guys, eat it out of the pipe. I also have like no impulse control so there's like a mm. slippery slope that happens where like you got like you know a bag of potato chips and you're like when you buy it you're like that's two servings of potato chips but then on your first serving you're like I'm pretty hungry so you eat like 60% instead of 50%, and then you're like, yeah. well, that means the next serving's only 40%. And then you're like, well, I might as well just eat the whole thing. I yeah. will always eat an entire bag of chips, unless it's family size. But if it's like average size, I'm eating no. all of it. No, I'm, I'm with both of you. I agree, me too. It's, it's not bad. a good habit, but the psychology, like it's I so identifiable not. for me. Yeah. Especially when they're baked Lay's original. Oh my god. <laughs> you're all about the baked Lay's. I'm all about it's the It's so milk, much be better than the regular Lay's, unless you're dipping. If you're dipping, go regular Lay's. But mm. if you're just eating the chips. You can't dip a Lay. Yeah. It, it, doesn't, lay, have, lay. it doesn't have the thickness to accommodate a dip. Well, yeah, it's, it's inconvenient, it's but you can sort of still a, dip it. No, you dip yeah, it. I think rough. you're thinking of like a sour cream based sauce or like some sort of a cheese. Yeah, dip, like a right? ranch sour yeah. cream uh, thing going there. Yeah. See, I'm not into those sauces personally. I'm more of, I need a chunky, you know, a salsa type of thing if I'm going to dip a Yo, chip. You but you're not saying? dipping Lay's in salsa. No, that's what I'm saying. You couldn't, I, you couldn't do that. with. No, but you're not Lay's. dipping any potato chip in salsa, are you? No, no. That's I'm, the tortilla well, chips domain. Well, absolutely. But that's what I'm saying is for me, Hold if on, I'm going to be dipping chips, they're going to be made out of corn. You know what I'm saying? Do you only dip, you'd never dipped a potato chip? I mean, I like, yeah, but I just, I don't know. I just don't feel, it's not I'm it's starting not that to question to me. everything about what you just said, mister. <laughs> I don't like dip, I mean, like, the sauces that you dip <clears throat> potato chips into are just generally, you know, you can't even get guacamole, you can't do salsa. What's the point, you know what I'm saying? 
I cheese dip like I'm like I'm fucking Weber cooks like I don't I don't <laughs> want any of this you know what I'm saying I like that guy <laughs> <laughs> I got the wildest run right now I got like five things of brimstone going in a random direction <laughs> oh did you get eyesore no I got uh, monstrous lung brimstone mm. and first eye yeah, I explained it it's a wild run chat slash people in the call should I take the magnet thing I'm um, Azazel. Strange Attractor? Yeah. That, no, that I, item is never actually paid. horrible. That's what I figured, so I, I went away from I it. I want it to be good every time, but it <laughs> never does. Or it it yeah. never does, you know. It never does. Yeah, it never does. But what I'm like, make? I can't believe... Right, you, you don't dip a potato chip? No, I mean, like, give me give me a sauce that I would dip a potato chip in, and maybe I'll change my mind here. There's like a it's dill just... pickle dip. That is I've never had that. That sounds, that sounds interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I'm all that... for it. dude. I've never experimented with chip dip, so I'm down to try new chip chip dip. Chip. You know <laughs> what I don't dip. like though is like you go to like somebody's Super Bowl party or something like that. You know, all these weird dips, and then you're like, "What's that dip?" And they're like, "Well, I took like a pound of shredded ch cheddar cheese and like a I jar of mayonnaise so. and just swirled it together with like a can of tomato sauce." And I'm like, that's not a dip. That's a crime. Like <laughs> we have like these like lasagna things that they're they're dip, but it's like it looks yeah. like a lasagna, and it's like I don't want this. It's, it's like I don't want a seven layer dip. I want a dip. Like I just want one okay. thing that I can identify the flavors of. That said, I did make uh, a dip like a month ago, maybe because I had a bunch of like leftover stuff in my freezer, and I was like, you know what? Let's just make a fucking chip dip. You know. And so I made like a cheesy sausage dip of my own design. Now, I'm not saying that that's good. bad, but yeah. did you not effectively make food out of garbage in that case? <laughs> like, that's <laughs> where well, my brain like... starts to have a problem is like, I could throw this stuff out or I could combine all of it into a paste and eat it. Like, it's, well, it's... from one extreme to the other. Sort of, it's like, it was like, these individual ingredients, they're not enough of it that I can make, e like, each of them into their own dish. But if I combine them in a unique fashion, then I can make something pretty interesting. And you know what? I did. It was pretty good. It was actually a pretty good sausage dip. I guess I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, like, it was, it was good. Where are you guys been of... on your, where are you on your run? I, I can end whenever. Room, but I can end whenever. Yeah, me too. You, you, if you got a great run, you might be able to finish in three minutes before we move to Ultimate Chicken Horse. Yeah, I got a Chaos card, so I can do that. There you go. Uh, we'll yeah, be back in three minutes with Mouth. Well. What the hell? Yeah. Chaos yeah, card, baby. I'm not shaming someone for avoiding food waste. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. It's the same thing. People are like, you know, with the circumcision talk. They're like, well, what if, you know, the baby wants it? to get circumcised, but he can't say anything. Like, sure, you're just twisting the argument now. <laughs> the baby wants it. The baby wants it. <laughs> oh, man, that's a bad NLSS circle jerk uh, yeah. quote right there. No, Michael A. But, uh, is now playing Ultimate Chicken Horse. Oh, there you go. Is mouth okay? It's a good segue into seeing you in three minutes. <laughs> Commercial break failed. Commercial breaks are only allowed once every eight minutes. Click the button again. Oh. Ads playing. 175 <laughs> seconds remaining. Nice. That sounds right, yeah. I still have yet to ever press that button before. Never run ads. Never. Yeah. You, wait, you've never in your whole life done mm. it, actually. Never pressed it. Huh. I stopped pressing it like a year ago, never went back. I understand why. Yeah. When you look at the back end, you, you understand why pretty quickly. Yeah. Especially since it's January. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, true. Yeah. Pretty sure they take money away from you in January when you add. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, that's essentially what running ads is when you're not streaming to like thousands of people. <laughs> Brian. Fly. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> you talking about me? Is Mouth here? Is Mouth okay? Mouth? Is, is Mouth okay? Well, in that case, I'm going to take a minute here and read subscriptions. Ship your channels. Well, some people have ads. Uh,. It's not as many as usual, so you don't have to go anywhere. 
Dagasha, Sandalfon, Kerwinator, Stettel, Cheddar Clucked, Halo Jumper 98, Minerict, Lupolis, CS0X00, Stoop349, Silva Over, Captain Hummus, CX0X00, I am Psycho, Stoop349. How did you get in there twice, dude? That's freaking me out. JS Chip, TGI Bonus, Kerbinator, Golden Elf, Pyroclasmic, Admiral Canada, Shinny Diamond, XX Kumquat, Eins Green, The Bronze James. I get it now. Zombolus, Wing Wang, Captain Awkward Fox, Cal Sands, Lord Error Prone 42, Gruzik, Quadit, Siren IQ, The Aggravated Hipster, Wooder Clerk, Zukaniz, Doylem, Soy Eater, Alzer Triple O, Lango Trio, Jarhead Taylor, Wolfin, Wolfinta, The One Asian Eight, Tickle Boss. Now that's a name. Sir Perplex. <laughs> I miss Nicholas. He was the only one to share the imaginary pain of hearing about your dong getting fucked up. <laughs> and I, I mean, I don't want to think about getting circumcision. It at doesn't all. bother me. It doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Does not bother me. I considered doing <laughs> it when I was in high school, actually. Yeah. The fuck. Yeah. A non sixteen twelve. Ultanoob seven eight seven. Peaches and beans. Yummy gem. What's for dinner? Puddle of Stansba. No, Puddle of Stan Bush. There we go. Faded Rob. <laughs> go on, moron four. Dry Ice Rock. I am Pungy. E.T. Giggles. Vladimir Putin. Stone Panda. Carry on 32. Vogel Cross. Nib Rock. Trula Man. Wooly Crackpot. Swim Loves You. Ouroboros Panda. Jack 1017. I want a pork, Miss Piggy. Hergs. Mr. Free Spoons. Brent DB. Weird Webster. Little Desmond Geesling. Phoenix775, that matey dude, Duran Dark Wolf, Cosmaximus, Phantom J, the Rocker, 118118, UI Temporis, Uncle Skeeter, Soapy Sloth, Spinicus, Control Out Delicious, Lazy Arcadian, Wolfie Owns, You Well Done, 7801, Shy Colossus, Mustard Puddin', Epic Fallout, Crucicle, 22446345, Epic Cycle, Gold Hypercurve, Bootier, The Cosmic Kiwi, Sunny D, Subin, Chilled Mick, Chilled milk, Nomad Wolf, <laughs> and Blurry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. That was nowhere near as long as usual, of, of course. And the one Asian 8, sir. Perplex, Anonymous, <laughs> Swim Loves You, Anonymous, Anonymous, Anonymous. Thank you. Some The anonymous person donating said, I've got a $35,000 budget. What car do I buy? A Mazda 6. Mm, what about a Kia Soul? I'll sell you my Volvo. It's an antique. <laughs> It is an antique. Has it crossed the threshold oh, wow. of um, now being worth, like, it's starting to gain value? Uh, in the of being a, a classic car? Well, no, not just classic, but, like, I feel like if you're buying, like, a 12-year-old car, you're like, oh, it's old. If you're buying, like, a 25-year-old car, that's a car that's, like, it's proven itself. Yeah. I don't know, these, like, a lot of times I'll be in the crappy tire parking lot and people will walk up to me out of their way and they're like, Fucking, I love this Volvo. I used to have one. I regret selling it. The, it's like, it's it was a good model, I guess. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe I could make a pretty penny. Oh, but. God. Chat. Is kick to make a pretty penny? How do I how do I get Steam Big Picture Mode off? <laughs> I, 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 I opened Ultimate Chicken Horse, stuff. and it was like, Steam Big Picture Mode. That's not da -da, necessary. Da -da, da -da. Chad, I apologize, but you 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 see the run. I would have won that run. You you get it. You understand. We All have right. to play a different game I now. I died on delirium. Oh, nice. Does somebody want to host? Um, uh, that play shit. online. Of course. Friends only. <laughs> host game. How you doing, Malf? Pretty good. I just ate some uh, harvest cheddar sun chips. Oh, <laughs> were you at Subway? Ooh. No, no, I just uh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry you were saying that and then uh and then and then we were like oh ooh, ooh, and then the game started and it did the horse sound so it's like <laughs> 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 it just sounds so good that's uh, good uh, sorry go no on. just i just at the corner store you know thought i'd get a yeah get a nice little snack before the show you know you well, know. I was telling you last uh, last time you were on, which was Monday, they got the chalet sauce Lay's now. <laughs> I got them again yesterday, and then I looked at the bag and I felt ripped off. You know what it said? Best before January 17th. Oh, 
That's the day I was eating them. Oh, that's rough, man. It's best before that. It's not mm -hmm. best up to and including that day. It's That's now just... no longer good. If I had no. eaten them one day earlier, I would have been like, no problem. But on that day, it's like, that's not a coincidence. You deliberately, you have like a store in the back and you're like, put out the 17s today. <laughs> well, the thing is, um, when I used to work at the general store, right? The We'd have the, the Lay's chip dude would, would come and, and bring the new bags and take all the expired ones. And uh, any, like... He'd usually just leave a bunch of the expired ones for us too, but we were not. Oh shit, my bad. We were not allowed to uh, to sell them, so we just got to eat them for free. But it's a, the perfect job. Oh yeah, because they're still good. Chips are still good for a few days, so that's not bad. Well, Chips. you know that like most exper uh, experiences, most uh, expiration dates are like way, way early. Well, yeah, no, I mean, true, yeah. It's not so necessarily not an exact science, but still. I guess people I were like, place. why do... I can't believe the same people who are like, yeah, make sure you cook my pork until there's absolutely no living creature, like, still possibly alive in it, uh, at the expense of its flavor, are like, oh, you can eat potato chips, like, weeks after the best before date. <laughs> you gotta have a... you gotta talk about consistency in your food safety, man. Yeah, but it's, like, fried to, like, you know, crispy levels. I'm sure it's good, right? Oh, I it's forgot covered in thing. oil. Oh, salt. It's okay, it's okay. You guys ever have salt pork? I don't yeah, think so. Sure. You have. Yeah. How was it? I don't know. Pretty good. I don't really remember it. <laughs> I mean, right. I didn't remember that you had it then, though. I good like the best. The best thing uh, is crispy pork. Mm. Oh, like a like a benin. Fuck. I don't call it what you want. I call it <laughs> <pork>. <laughs> it's like, well, it's a, it's a Danish <laughs> dish for sure. They just take a big old slab of pork and then they score it and then they cook it in such a way that the top kind of pops and gets crispy. Uh -huh. It's mm -hmm. like really good pork rinds on top of the most like succulent and tender and juicy pork underneath. It's a winning combo. Fuck oh. yeah, I'm a with cowboy. you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, speaking you, you of like, Benin? I've never had Ryan. Roberto Bellini. <laughs> Oh fuck, I died. Speaking of huh. uh, like best guesses and like food safety, I went, like I had to be downtown yesterday, but I was there earlier than I had to be. So I went to the Shoppers Drug Mart to pick up some stuff. It's, that's like our pharmacy chain here. And um, when I was talking to the pharmacist, they were like, have you gotten your flu shot? And I was like, nah, you, can you guys just juice me up? And they're like, yeah, dude, just go like take your shirt <laughs> off and we'll just give you a little flu shot right here. And I was like, sweet, let's do that, you know? Herd immunity oh. and stuff like that. Oh. But now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How did you live that long? Since? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't move. I was stuck in the, the metal. But then I was talking to the dude given the injection. And he's like, do you have any questions about a flu shot? Have you ever had one before? I'm like, nah, don't worry about it, dude. Bachelor's degree. We know, like, <laughs> you and I, we're on the same intellectual level here. And, um, but then, despite not having questions... He was, like, giving me just enough information for me to, like, have second thoughts. He's like, mm. yeah, you know, it's not really, like, we can't guarantee you won't get the flu, but, like, it seems like this year it's a pretty good guess. I'm like, that's not what I want to <laughs> hear when I'm about to get an injection. I want to hear this thing's going to stop me from getting the flu. I don't want to hear, yeah, it seems like we really nailed it this year, but, you know, we're not going to know till April. <laughs> don't talk well, to me about April. Which... Well, don't it's January. Strain yet, right? I like, know, but still. Yeah. <laughs> don't they change every year to kind of like because the the virus and stuff can change. Well, they try to predict what is going to strain. Be, yeah. yeah. They strain oh, their brain to try to predict. It's all a scheme, right, yeah. anyways. They only give them out for free because it know they know you have to walk all the way to the back of the shoppers drug mart and go through the the Lay's potato chip yeah. aisle. <laughs> it's a loss leader. The, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like me and Malfoy are on the same page about dentists, then, to be honest with you. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I, I also uh, felt... Started. I, I like my dentist. I felt really good about getting a flu shot, because Kate had the flu like a week ago. And I didn't. Oh, yeah. So I was like, check it out, Kate. I'm immune now. Probably should have done that, like, six weeks ago. Maybe could have saved you a weekend of just lying around in bed. <laughs> with, like, a 39-degree fever, but... You know, my roommate had the flu, and I'm just really happy I didn't get it. Did you get a flu shot, man? Mm, I didn't, but, it, you know, I don't go outside enough to risk that, so. 
As long as the, I don't get sick from my roommate, I'm good. The, the questionnaire they gave me was actually like, we won't take no for an answer. So the, the lady, <laughs> when she was giving me the questionnaire, was like, I don't know what you're gonna say, well, there's a, there was a dude, now it's a lady. The dude gave me the injection. The lady gave me the questionnaire, <laughs> okay? She was like, well, do you like have kids? I'm like, nah. Is, is your wife pregnant? Nah. Are you ever like around the elderly? Nah. Uh, do you ever come in contact with sick people? Nah. Uh, do you ever go to like a doctor's office? And I'm like, once a year? And she's like, that counts. And she <laughs> took the yes. And I was like, that's like, do you ever eat matter? Like, <laughs> aren't you in the doctor's office at the moment that you were getting the flu shot? No, I was in the <laughs> pharmacy. Oh. Which I guess yeah. could mean that I came in contact with sick people, but. Wait, is that where they is that where they administer flu shots at, at pharmacies? You can get them in the pharmacy everywhere. Some, you can go to Walmart, dude. Yeah, you can Fuck get them in the li library in our hometown. Did they I think ask I've only gotten them in clinics and stuff? They should ask if you've been to an airport because that's basically uh, a hospital. Yeah. You will right be there, sick. Doctors. It's gonna you got work, it, Ryan. Dude. <gasps> <gasps> He's made it. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. <laughs> <laughs> You can get it at the gym, you can get it at your car. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, they're gonna give me this flu shot for free and I got 20 minutes, why not? Yeah. People in the chat are like, yes Rob, how do you not know? I'm like, I don't know, get it at the clinic when I see my doctor. You know, you get a flu shot. Why do I need to do it at a pharmacy? Well, because you might be going to the pharmacy to buy some baked Lay's Ooh. potato chips. Make it, right, uh, exactly, yeah. Make it longer. Six pints of Make it ice cream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do I do that? Uh, game rules. But then it also, like, triggered my anxiety a little bit. Because then he's, like, legally, like, you're not supposed to leave for about 10 minutes after you get the shot. Just in case you have, like, a seizure or something. So, oh. why don't you just go walk around in the pharmacy and then leave after 10 minutes? So, I'm walking around there. I got, like, a backpack on, my headphones in, just hanging out. And then I just walk out. And I'm like, these people definitely are going to think that I stole some baked lays. <laughs> but they didn't say anything, so. Get cucked, People son. mostly don't care, man, is the thing. Yeah, I guess so. They just don't really give a shit. Unless, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't want to do the paperwork about a guy stealing a 50 cent bag of chips, you know what I'm saying? Then I was like, I they almost guilted me into buying something just in order to look like I wasn't stealing. <laughs> they they almost got inside of my head. You know what sucks about baked lays? What sucks about baked lays? Yeah, I'm with mouth, honestly. I can't, I can't get the sour cream onion flavor anymore. They don't have it anywhere. It's because really? nobody buys them. Everyone and buys it, and they're always out of if stock. If they bought them, they would keep making them. <laughs> now, where do you stand on kettle cooked? I'm all for the kettle cooked. Yeah. You Fuck know, yeah. to me, it's like people get rid of hate. If you can, if you've got the time to make chips at home, that they're awesome. Oh, come then on, it's like, dude. Then kettle kettle cooked would be probably second place. Then like ordinary sort of whatever. Lays, What's ruffles, last place? Baked. <laughs> 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 Mouth doesn't respect food. I've had baked. There, there's no respect to be given. They're just kind of. They're like... literally better in every single imaginable way you can imagine. I don't know, no. man. Taste, texture. When I eat a baked potato <laughs> chip, I feel like it's been sitting in my couch cushion for two months. I just <laughs> can't do it, man. I think there's a level below that. I'm just trying to think of what it is. Just like. Pringles? Dude, no, Pringles, Pringles are, great. are all right. It just weirds me out because they're kind of like <laughs> they're the processed meat of the of the chip world. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. Processed. Which is kind of like it's. I'm still okay. Like I eat deli meat all the time and stuff. But when you think about it, you're like, they're taking these potatoes and they're mashing them up so they can make them this fun little shape. Yeah. yeah but like. I but once know. you pop, you just can't stop. Pringles yeah, are okay. but it's like pre-chewed food. Can we just hold Pringles up and say like... that this dude's making his own potato chips? <laughs> That's okay. I mean, his mouth. Are you like? Yeah. How many when times have you done it's this? It's actually. Uh, oh, I don't no. know. I don't count. But <laughs> like you, so more than once is the answer that I was, yes. I was looking for. But if you've got like a vegetable, you know those vegetable slicers. We just go. See, that's put the them thing. on a, a baking sheet with uh, Rob. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I figured I didn't want to try to make that jump if it was possible, so I was like, yeah, fuck it. 
But uh, anyway, yeah, go on. Yeah, you just slice them up, uh, get some olive oil going on, and then uh, <clears throat> put them in the oven for like 10 minutes. And then if you want to make like your own sauce, and you go nuts sauce. while you're waiting. You get some See, sour cream, some sriracha, <laughs> or you could do a, a dill if you got some dill seasoning. Oh, dill. Yeah, dill's good sauce. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm who I hate a, talking about food more, Rob or Mal. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, uh, I've got like a, a thing, like I've got a, a PTSD about mandolin slicers mm. because like one time I like chopped the edge of my finger Ooh, off. Ooh, there's on it. Bardra! Bardra! <laughs> <laughs> I know that's baked chat, but these are like baked good, not baked in a fat. Fuck <laughs> off, mouth. Honestly, <laughs> baked saying. good. Oh, I don't like how it tastes, except I cook it exactly the same way and exactly the same manner. I don't manner. like how the factories do their mass-produced bullshit. <laughs> it is different when you bake it at home than it is the completely different. Because like the baked lays that you that you get, they kind of taste. They're kind of almost Pringle-like. Yeah, feels. I agree with yeah. that. Or, so right? much better well, than Pringle. It's it's like it's like having a oh, like a, oh. a donut that was made in the morning and you eat it just before they're closing. Still probably <laughs> like you're like whatever this is okay versus a hot fresh donut. It's a world apart. It's the same way with chips. If you eat chips hot out of the fryer or hot out of the oven, it's completely different. Mm. But like, what do you feel about? Chips that are not chips, where do they rank? For example, a, a bugle. Where does a bugle rank on the chip hierarchy? Oh, bugles and mm -hmm. French onion dip will you, it'll knock you French onion dip on your socks. So they're <laughs> out of your socks, and then it'll put them back on for you because it's so good. They're pretty good. I, I don't really have them that much though. That's so gettable. Me either. They're like really hard to find in uh, America, actually. Really? In Norway, they have bugles, chocolate yeah. covered bugles. Oh, that's weird. It's kind of weird, but yeah. you know they're not bad. It's like chocolate covered pretzels. At first, you're like, mm, I don't know, but then you I eat can them. see it. Yeah, I can what see about it. cheese puffs and cheese puff analogs? You mean Fuck Cheetos? Yeah. Well, Cheetos, no. soft Cheetos, and then the hard Cheetos, and then the no, pot so Cheetos. That's a, better, right term. that's a better question. Hard Cheetos or soft Cheetos? Hard uh, Cheetos. Both. Of course. No, I hard Cheetos. Hard hard Cheetos. Cheetos. But, I mean, I'll eat. I'll eat both. Yeah, if you gotta twist my arm, I'll say the hard. But like, I I like the I like the puffs. The puffs are good too. I'm into it. Kid Funyuns were my life, but oh, dude, Funyuns! Oh, the red hot Funyuns are so good. Now they just taste way too fake to me, though. It's just like. So you gotta, gotta get the red hot ones so you don't taste anything because your mouth. Know, is I've never seen red hot ones, and they're really good. Was anybody else like me? And when you were a kid, you ate way too many honey barbecue. Wise chips. What? You know what I'm talking about? The honey no barbecue idea. ones? It sounds like a drop you get in Shadow Run. <laughs> it's it was they were delicious, but then I ate way too many of them, and now if I see them in the store, I like I puke a bit in my mouth. Like I can't think about them anymore. They're Humans gross. are weird like that, dude, because I had like the same thing. My uh grandparents fished like all the time. It's so it's a dream come true. They would make like a homemade fish and chips with freshly caught bass. But then oh, one, yeah. like, it was, it's great. If to this day, I would I would take that as a meal over a lot of stuff. But then, one month, they just got fucking silly with it. We had fish and chips for like eight days in a row or something like that. And I just, <laughs> I couldn't think of this delicious bass without wanting to throw up. And uh, yeah. that's why you eat it with a fork. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> exactly. It affected me for years. Like... Not on a, you know, I can't function sort of level. People would be like, you know, what do you want to eat? We got great fish and chips. And I'd be like, ooh, <laughs> no, thank you. you can give me the, you know, steak and kidney pie. <laughs> Ew. It just means that kidney gross. beans. Oh. I think. Rob. Oh, fuck. <laughs> do you not know? I don't know. I've, I've ordered it. I think it just means kidney beans. Nope, it's real kidney. I don't think so. Probably had it like 20 times. What about liver? Yeah, you guys like liver? I've never no. had it. Yeah, I don't like liver Liver either. pate, I'm okay with that. Yeah, like liverwurst? Liverwurst is... I can, I I can eat the it. Worst. <laughs> yeah, got him. Definitely not kidney beans, it's actual kidneys. What? Well, well there you go. In, in like French cooking and, and a lot of other cuisine, organs are very heavily yeah. used. Like it's not... 
obviously a big thing, I guess, in Canadian and uh, American culture all that much. But Fuck. in Europe, they're like, yeah, give me some of that stomach. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me. Let Although, me yeah, chat's saying yeah. the right thing. Sometimes they do eat gizzards down in the south, which is. Yeah. <clears throat> but even watching yeah. Uh, like this old Anthony Bourdain's like a cook's tour, and he's hi. I'm old Europe. Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's yeah, it's like early 2000s. It's it's bad, but it's good. And uh, he eats like uh, a. <laughs> A, a live, uh, like oh, a, fuck. a, what do you call it? A, a pumping, pulp, pulpitating, pulpitating heart. <laughs> a, 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 a pulping, pulpitating heart. A pumping, pumping. You know, it's the pumping of that damnable heart. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they bring the cobra pumping. out, and it's like hissing and shit, and then they just slice it right there out in the dining room, and pull the heart out. And put it in a bowl, and Anthony Bourne is like, "Hurry up, hurry up!" While it's still beating, <laughs> and he just like he just like takes it like a shot out of this bowl. Yeah, I've seen it's that wild. one actually. I've seen and... Gordon Ramsay drink. Oh, it. Like, that's the one I saw. Out of a shot glass. Yeah, yeah that's the one. I don't think of the grossest thing I've eaten, but I don't think I've eaten anything that gross. I ate um. Well, okay, I ate, I ate mystery meat twice in my life. What is? And... Was it called mystery meat? Well, yeah, essentially. I told this story before, but, no, but like, long story short, it was meat sauce at this, um, uh, let's say, uh, cuisine from a country that I was not aware of. And <laughs> they, they had, uh, like, pasta. No, 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 wait, 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 what? I, I don't, it's just like, I, I, it's nondescript. I don't know what kind of cuisine it had, because it was like, Kung Pao chicken and oh, okay. you know, I see. chicken wings and you know it was a polymorphic <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. restaurant. So like, <laughs> so like I, I don't know what it what it was, but anyway, it was it was cheap. It was in the back of a of a of a hole in the wall, um, and it said it had rice with meat sauce, and I didn't know <laughs> what it was. And I and I asked the guy, I was like, "What kind of meat is in the meat sauce?" And he was like, "You know, meat." And so I was like, you know what? I'm feeling like I'm feeling risky today. Let's do it. And I tried it, and it tasted disgusting. And it was like grainy and like cut up into little tiny, like little little like dipping dots. And it was disgusting. And so it was probably cat. And so I probably ate cat. So I don't know, but or rat that, or something like something. Uh, horrible. Yeah, that was that's weird. actually like had, super disgusting. Yeah, I had <laughs> buffalo before. You ever had that? That's not that oh, weird. That's awesome. Yeah, bison's great. It's, it's just like a slightly drier beef. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's I think that's as adventurous as I've gotten. I mean, I had shark one time, and it actually wasn't that good. I think shark's yeah. uh, a fair bit more adventurous. Who fucking than did this? <laughs> <laughs> you you know exactly who did this. Hell start. <laughs> the temperature's hot. Did somebody say donkey wraps are good? What the <laughs> fuck is a donkey wrap? <laughs> that Yo, is uh, CG. You get at a donkey show, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, but and so the other mystery meat I ate is I went to my friend, my friend who was Filipino went to this um, or, or had a birthday party at some again another nondescript restaurant. I don't think it was Filipino cuisine, but um, it it was his like thirteenth birthday and they brought out a bunch of dishes, but they wouldn't tell us what the dishes were until we ate. Them. I hate that. Yeah. So like. You know, I had this bowl, and it was like, it looks like noodles, and we're like, what is this? And it's like, oh, it's, it's cold noodles. Like, okay, I'll have some cold noodles. Uh, and I had it, and it was like, yeah, it's kind of tasteless, and it's, it's all right, I guess. Turns out, jellyfish tentacles. Ah. Uh, oh, that's yeah. Weird. Mm. yeah. That's it not bad. that weird. Yeah. Jellyfish yeah. Well, is then, like, it's, it's a semi-common sushi type. Yeah. Oh, birds. <laughs> And then, and then there was another one that was like, God damn, <laughs> yeah, push forward him, easy. But anyway, so, and then the other one was like, like, oh, look, these like miniature chicken wings. Are we eating chicken babies or something? And then, uh, and they were very salty. Turns out, frog legs. Mmm. Mm. Wasn't bad. It was yeah. all right. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I almost got frog's also... legs on the weekend, actually. Really? Yeah, we went out for dinner for Kate's birthday. <laughs> And like frog legs were on the menu, and I was like, I gotta try it. 
What kind Would of man would I be if I went to this restaurant with frog's legs? First restaurant I've ever seen a man in my whole life and didn't try him. But then, mm. like, we ordered too much food and I was like, I don't need to order frog's legs. This is just too much. It's the macaroni and cheese situation all over again. You can't lose. No, it's not, to be honest. Every kid bad. in the world has had macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever talk about your macro? I can't remember. The, your first mac and cheese? I ate it and I was he like, did, yeah. it's, it's alright. Like, You said on Twitter I was such an idiot when well, I was Well, yeah, a kid. I was an idiot because, like, like, why not eat it? Basically. <laughs> oh, this guy. You gotta have a You gotta have a good one, yeah. Oh, I wonder where you I mean, it was one, good. Though. It was it was at, like, a, it was a classy joint, if I'm being Ow. honest with you. But, um, I was like, yeah, oh, it's, it's not bad. It was It was tasty. Come Buffalo and bison are not the same animal. Oh, is it not the same uh, thing? Yeah, your oh, I an it. oh god, your ancestors uh, left some bison around <laughs> mercifully. Yeah, didn't they recently come off the endangered list? The bison? They did. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm. Uh, the one I, I had was so. at, like it was at Disney World actually, like a really fancy Disney World like hotel restaurant, uh -huh. and it was like. Forty dollars or something. Oh, yeah, and uh, it was not. It was good, but it was not forty dollars good. Honestly, if if you're ever like weary of trying certain new meats and stuff like that, <laughs> get them as a ground up and as a burger or whatever. That's. I mean, it's not the same thing. Yeah, and co completely be... uh, whitewash <laughs> their entire flavor by grinding it yeah, into yeah, a yeah, patty right, and then. No, it's that's. A, it's a stepping stone for a lot of people who might be like kind of iffy on the on the texture or the flavor, this or that. Like, because oh I know a God. lot of people, especially <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't like a lot of meat just because it was a texture thing for me. It's like somebody overcooked the hell out of it or this or that, so it would put me off. It wasn't the, the flavor. So, mm -hmm. excuse me, could you take those frog legs and grind them up into <laughs> a pad? Known for being tough <laughs> what about uh about jiminy like, cricket like, talking uh, i i i'm with it like i had a i i don't know like i didn't do it on purpose but the i had gator recently like yeah. a couple months ago and i but it came they they made a thing called gator tots which were essentially <laughs> what you yeah. should never come up with a pun and then engineer a food to go with it <laughs> yeah the food should come before the name yeah, I agree, but it's the only place that I could get gator, and I was leaving Florida, so I was like, yeah, yeah. fuck it, I'll have some gator tots. <laughs> and, uh... But essentially, it was, it was like ground gator made into popcorn chicken, except yeah. it was popcorn gator. So I couldn't really tell, but it was good, but it was like, I don't know, maybe I like gator? I can't tell. I've had gator, actually, one time. Oh, I guess I don't get to place yeah. anything here, so... It happened to me earlier. I've had gator... But it was in like fourth grade, and our teacher came back from like the Everglades, and she had like a bunch of gator what? jerky or something. So I ate it, and I was like, "That's that's gator, all right. Tastes just like beef." <laughs> when you turns out when you turn any meat into a jerky, it tastes pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's true. It was definitely more jerky than meat, gator. Too. Yeah, it's true. They probably use like fucking gator snouts or something. Yeah, gator butthole. <laughs> Why is jerky so dang expensive? Is what I want to know. Whoa. Yeah. Well, it's time. Like, it takes a lot of time. And like one jerky piece is like 15 steaks or something, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> once you suck the water out of it, it's like, you know, you're. Yeah. It takes a lot of meat to make jerky. But it is. It's one of the worst value propositions in food. Yeah. Mm. Even though I yeah. love jerky, I'm like, man, that is a pricey. It's a pricey food product. If you get like Jack Link's like name brand, it's like fifteen dollars for like a tiny bag. Yeah, well that's like a pound yeah. bag, for fifteen bucks though, isn't it? I don't know. It's it's maybe not a small bag, but it's still not a lot for fifteen dollars. Yeah. Chat, if you're not a fan of jerky, just grind it up and make it into. Just a make burger. it on your own. Just go get some meat. <laughs> Buy and, a food uh, dehydrator. Put yeah, a smoker in your it. apartment. It only takes five minutes. It's crazy. Actually, uh, <laughs> Chef John from Food Wishes uh, showed a at-home jerky uh, system that you could do. It's not technically jerky, but uh, but it, it works like jerky, and it just, only takes a couple hours in the oven at a low heat. Just take a slab of beef and hang it in your basement. <laughs> 
It'll be I don't okay. Know about that. Okay. that seems like a bad. You're gonna kill people that way, I think. Hey, you know what? Yo, how do you guys stand on dry aged beef slash have you had it? I don't know. I don't think so. See, because it's like a supposedly it's amazing. But I've seen the process of making it, and they have to, like, cut off the mold they afterwards. They have to scrape it, scrape it down, yeah. Yeah, and, like, that puts me off, man. Uh, like, let's just think of some cheeses and stuff. Cheese yeah. is moldy. Think yeah, cheese but it's, it's meat, though. It's yeah. meat, though. But, meat, you know. Though. Back of the box quote right there. <laughs> 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 of, of an unknown origin. <laughs> Uh, dry age is so much better, Rob. I mean, I've never had. I, I'm not actually against having it. I'd have it. It just it weirds me out a little bit, you know. I don't know. What do you, don't you like uh, like prosciutto and shit like that? I do, but that's cured. That's not. That's yeah, not the same thing. Yeah, but they still like slather it in this stuff, and they leave it hanging around. It's it's mm -hmm. it's not entirely different. No, you're not wrong. You're wrong. All right, yeah, no. you're fucking wrong, now. No, how Piece how deep do you guys shit. go on the cheese train? Like, I don't. I love it. I go like cheddar, Swiss, and like yeah. mixed. <laughs> like that's oh. it. Charcuterie, or however you say that shit. Yeah, order. that's where it's at. You get some I meat, agree. you get cheeses, and it's a fun time because you just get to try try oh, a little no. bit of new stuff, and then you've always got the old standbys as well. It's beautiful. I agree. I'm with you on that. I don't like blue cheese that much, though. I'll say. Missing out. Um, I, I just, it's fine, but I just, you know, not rest. I like it more as... Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my god! You I know, go to, like... Have, like, I've had uh, uh, the keg. I don't know if they still have it, but they have this, like, blue cr cheese crusted filet mignon. Right. Like, wrap shit. I was really good because it gets I'd eat cooked. That. And it's not, uh, they don't put too much on or anything like that, so it's overpowering. Because blue cheese is pretty, pretty strong. Mm. That's good. I've had, like, blue cheese pasta before. Ooh, see, that sounds like too much blue cheese. No, to me. it was no. just like a light kind of crumbling on top. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Mm. Pasta. I, uh, <laughs> I've always wanted a cheese wheel. Even right. though I know I could never eat that much cheese, it just looks so satisfying <laughs> to have. A mm. big fucking wheel of cheese. Sometimes they have them at the grocery store. Mm. They'll have like a huge wheel of Parmesan Reggiano, and then yeah. we look at it and we're like, five hundred and eighty-three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I once watched a twenty-minute video of an old Ital an elderly Italian man break down uh, one of those giant like forty-pound. Yeah, wheels man. Of I guess I was on I remember seeing that too. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought I was like, there's no way I'm gonna watch this twenty-minute video of this man breaking down cheese. And then by like five minutes, I was like, I'll watch a little bit more. It's awesome. They like, they tap on it and stuff to hear it, depending on the sound. They're like, oh yeah, this one's good. This one's good. <laughs> Why didn't we go back to Old Mansion? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can back out and hit up too if you want. Oh, <laughs> That's <thank> my bad. <laughs> Although I am going to vote for Old Mansion again, though. So, you know. I just swear. Just your votes count. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> wait, wait, did anybody count. but... Me and Rob see that video of the uh, the Japanese couple who hadn't spoke to each other in 23 years. I heard, yeah, I have not seen it. Yeah. No, you saw it, right, I, Rob? I, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. that was crazy. I mean, it was crazy, but then at the same time, like, cause the the reason that I wanted to bring that up and talk about that is because there was another one on Reddit recently. The dog uh, that was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog thing. The dog was and really then, cute though. Wait, I mean, what's was? the dog thing? Well, the dog thing was like, the owners were like, help our dog, like, disappears for half the day, and it's really fat. And then they followed it around, they put on, like, disguises, and follow this dog around for the whole day, and it just, like, walks around to, like, the subway station, and then everybody feeds it when it comes into the store. And then <laughs> yeah. it, like, has a little dog girlfriend that it hangs out with, it's got, like, a, a second family, basically. Yeah, Sachan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The I mean, it, it was cute, cute as hell. The, the reason that I wanted to talk about it is, like, it seems to be now, now that there's two, there seems to be a beginning of a trend here on Reddit. Right. And I just, 
I don't understand it. They're like 20 minute videos of a Japanese variety show from like the mid 90s. <laughs> how how is this becoming extremely popular? It's the one where they roll the tires down the hill, right? Dude, uh, the, no. The people oh, like so good. The people in the comments, as someone who was you know watched a little bit more Japanese TV than probably the average person, <laughs> Japanese TV mostly fucking sucks. There are huge <laughs> exceptions, but people in the comments are like, it'd be really nice if we had shows like this in America. You know what it is? Like, those shows, that's like a diamond in the rough, or like the needle in the fucking haystack. Most of the time, they show like a lady, and she's cooking like a soup, and then they're like, and then she puts pepper in the soup, and a bunch of like celebrities are watching, and they all go, oh, and like <laughs> cover their mouths, and then they, they talk to each other, they're like, pepper, my god, really? And it goes on for like an hour. It's horrible. <laughs> That's the one where they have the like they they have a webcam basically like on YouTube the, the picture of a celebrity. Picture, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that, yeah, but that's not a show. You could be forgiven for thinking that. That's like <laughs> forty shows, and I'm not really? even fucking with you. That you might see this and be like, oh yeah, I've seen a clip of this show before. You probably haven't. You've probably seen a clip of like another ninety shows that have exactly the same format. <laughs> that yeah. sounds awesome. It's not awesome. It's hell. <laughs> I can see that being hell. The, where's the what's the one show I really like? That's like the guys they have to like not laugh or something. Oh, Silent Library. Oh, no, yeah, no, they, it's not Silent Library. It's a, stuff, right? Yeah. What, Rob, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just talking about weird Japanese porn. No, I, oh, it's uh, it's like this group of like three or four guys, and they go to like these weird like uh, ah. places, like like they go to the spa and one, and like they gotta like make them. Uh, make each other laugh and if they laugh they get like beat by like I would do that random people with like big sticks oh yeah chances it's Gaki no, Gaki no Sukai? Sukai I've never I have look I don't know what that means it's it's funny as hell I, I enjoy it a lot well that's like it that's what I'll say is hit and miss like there's some like Takeshi's castle is hilarious and yeah. like there's even some like more semi serious Japanese shows that I watch or that, like I, I have watched. Like uh Terrace House <laughs> is like the real world, but instead right, of right, everybody yeah. going out and like clubbing all the time, they're mostly like we go to work and then we come home and like eat dinner together. And occasionally like a relationship springs up. It's like a drama free real world. And it's kind of it's kinda of nice. It's like understated. But then like a lot of the variety shows, I'm just like, spare me. Please. Mm. And it's not like, obviously, like, American TV has problems as well. Like, there's some Why? horrible shows on American TV, but, like, it's also in a golden age. Of, there like, was, uh, there was, like, these, this, uh, was when Wipeout first came out. Uh, Wipeout was great. I don't know if it's still airing, but. MXC is eh, awesome. I agree. Yeah. MXC was great, but there was another one that was like, I survived the Japanese game show that came out around the same time. Hmm. <laughs> that, one, that one was actually kind of funny, too. It was it was a little, you know, reality much. Like a lot of reality angles and like, it, you know, people would be like, talking about what they were doing. They would cut to them and all that, like Big Brother yeah. style. So it was a little much, but it was, way, it was interesting. The best is way back uh, in like the late 90s or something, or maybe early 2000s, SNL. They had a skit with Mike Myers, where it's like oh, a Japanese God. game show, and if they got the answer wrong, they had to like cut off their own fingers. So <laughs> like this lady <laughs> would just walk around with this platter of these surgical knives, and they just hand them to people, and then like cut them off, and then keep doing the show. It's classic. <laughs> it's the same thing with like Korean TV. Like a lot of Korean TV is really bad, in my opinion. But I think that the um, the fact that they go so weird with it also allows them to get great stuff like when Jack Black was on Infinity Challenge and they're like oh that was funny they're like hey Jack Black you don't speak Korean listen to these songs in Korean and try to sing them back to us and we'll try to guess what they are <laughs> and oh. he's like yeah dude I'm in and it, it made for like a really funny segment or like hey put this stocking on your head and like try to run over here and blow out a candle like that <laughs> yeah, for every one can't. of those you get there's like 90 shows where it's like a period drama and it's just like melodramatic and horrible, but like it's worth it. I think it's worth it for those clips. I like the Japanese commercials where Nicolas Cage plays Pachinko. Like those are fun. <laughs> you know what I'm tired of? 
I'm Nicholas tired Cage. of the gimmick that we've we've run to the ground of like, look at this person Dude. that looks like they can't sing at all, but actually they're the best singer I... in the world. <laughs> yeah. You won't like... believe that this ugly person has a good voice. <laughs> it's like, look, you know, Susan Boyle, that was a great moment. It, it, it was, hey, it was she's natural. not ugly, dude. <laughs> well, it, it, okay, whatever. But just as an aside, I'm getting all these, like, clickbait ads when I read fake news. And they go, you won't believe what Susan Boyle looks like after she lost 70 pounds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up their spot. She looks like a slightly skinnier Susan Boyle. <laughs> she looks exactly the same, except she's lost 70 pounds, apparently, which is good for her. But I would totally believe it. If you showed me a picture, I wouldn't be like, who's that? Let me put it that way. I'd be like, that's Susan Boyle. God damn it. 70 pounds lighter. <laughs> Did you ever see that one that was on, uh, I think Britain's Got Talent, of like the the big, the large man, and he has curly hair, and he's, he's kind of uh, very introverted. But then he mm. starts singing, and he's got like this crazy opera voice. Oh, I have so seen sounds that Sounds like one. Andrea Bocelli. Yeah, 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 that one I've seen. That's a good one. Those are the clips that always go viral, though. And it's yeah. like... That's why I think they're start. They're definitely starting to manufacture them. Like absolutely, there's yeah, no yeah. way that the new ones aren't like just people that they found and hired to. Like, Look at this freak this. show. Bet you think they're not good at anything because they. <laughs> right. Well, there there was one they where it was this guy. He was he was it yeah. was another rather large man. And he had like a crazy eyeliner on and like black hair. He looked super emo. Mm. And, he, and it was like you won't believe that what that this man when he opens his mouth. I'm like, gonna sing Creep well. by Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> Rack attack. I was like, you um, know what? That guy looks like they hired him. But did they no, do they, it they like totally they'll, do. they'll throw somebody in like that? That like you know they look super goth or something like that, and then they sing like a song by Katy Perry, and everyone goes, "Oh, they're like they're just like me." I mean, it's it's so ridiculous. Like this top forty star though, like. A, a dude in like eye makeup sings Frank Sinatra, and they're like, I never would have expected him to like Frank. Everybody likes Frank Sinatra. It's because he's got <laughs> eyeliner on. Doesn't mean he's never heard my way, you know? Well, they they do. My do way that, or though. the highway. Yeah, that that one. Specifically. There was the uh, the the one guy on America's Got Talent or whatever. The the dude who has the tape on his mouth and he does like a prop show. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I How seen did he do? Because I saw the first one and I was like, this is interesting. I like this, but I never watched anything after that. Well, I mean, I don't know, but I, I know I read the Reddit comments and people are saying, like, yeah, he, he actually is, like, a pretty well-known underground performer, and they totally hired him to be on there to uh, be surprising, you know? I have well, they to... do that with uh, with Pawn Stars, right? No, I believe they, uh that. Half of the guys yeah, yeah. are just, like, people that they know have these rare things, and they bring them in just yeah. to bring oh, them in. Oh, yes! I have to throw you, you out know, here that I, I like Penn and Teller. Oh, he put himself on 90. I like Penn and Teller, but Penn and Teller's Fool Us makes no sense to me as a reality show. If you've never seen it, the premise of the show is they have magicians come on and like do a trick, and then if Penn and Teller can't figure out how it's done, then you like move on to the next round. So what ends mm. up happening is that some guy comes on and does like an amazing trick, and you're like, that's how does he do it? And then Penn and Teller talk to each other, and they go, I don't want and then they go, we know how it's done. And then the dude just walks off stage. And you're like, well, how do you do it? How does he do it? You got <laughs> they, give, they give him a hint, though. They, they give him, like, a key word where they say, like, oh, you know, have you done this? And the, that word is, like, a, a very well-known, like, magic trick but that everyone uses. I don't care that they know. I want to know, cause then what? If you want to know, all I'm saying is go find the Reddit threads, and every oh, okay. Reddit thread is a fucking right. magical expert wizard that knows exactly how everything works. It's just Sounds like like you're an expert at Redditors, Austin. <laughs> Excuse me. It just leads to these situations where they're like, I don't want to blow up your spot, but we know how it's done. You ever think what? sometimes they're just like, I have no idea how that's done, but I didn't like it that much. And they just tell him they know how it's done, and then get him to walk off stage. Damn it! <laughs> That's because it's rude to reveal other magicians' tricks. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, but like, I, I see you that. want me to watch your TV show? Like, what's the selling point here? Yeah. Well, that's like uh, the fucking, the fucking, uh, what's his face? Who's who's the crazy David Blaine? David Blaine, yeah. Yeah, he's angel. putting the needle through his arm. I think fucking. Ricky Gervais hit the nail on the head when he's talking about it. He's like, what's the trick? There's no trick. 
You just put a yeah. fucking needle through your arm. That's dope. That's it. You just you just did that. There's no yeah. magic. He's just very like half of his stuff is like just practical. Like he's actually doing it. There yeah. is no trick. You're like, the oh. other half of his stuff though is like is fake. Yeah. Card tricks, whatever. Yeah. No, like, but like but when when he's like, oh, like he, I wrote your father's name in water on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how that's what the possible. father's name was. Like, there's no Maybe way. It's magic. It's not. <laughs> there's no way that's possible. Yeah, it's not. I, I like, agree. Yeah. but he has some tricks that mouth. are like really cool anything. card tricks that are actually tricks. But then he has one where he's like, oh, here's a card. It's inside a fucking orange. It's like, you know, I put it there like five hours ago when you weren't looking, probably. <laughs> like, that's the only way he can do no that. No way, dude. He put a card in every <laughs> single piece of fruit. And it was the same card, <laughs> and then he forces whatever card he wants Harrison Ford to pick. <laughs> but then how does he force the fruit? Well, th that's because why he has to put a, a card, the same card, in every single piece of fruit in Harrison Ford's kitchen. <laughs> if Harrison Ford went, hey, I don't want an orange, what if I pulled like a piece of, like a can of orange juice out of my fridge or something? David Blaine would be like, dude, hold up. That's not what he <laughs> talked like, about. It. And then, like, he pulls out, like, a whole deck of cards out of the orange. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of, like, like reality TV shows, you know, when they're like, they're like, oh, yeah, you just showed up? Oh, yeah, how's it going? It's like, wait, no, but... The you got a shot of him already... walking in, like... Yeah, exactly, they're in the house already. He didn't just show up. This That didn't happen. This... Were the cameras just there overnight, and they just woke up, and they were just like, ah, oh, fuck it, whatever, you know, might as well. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's that, like, Mitchell and Webb sketch about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a gift my no, not, not that one, not but that also one. that oh. one. Oh. <laughs> this that one's was, like, you know, yeah. what are you talking about? Like, you've been here for hours. Oh, you put yeah. me in the makeup <laughs> chair and, like, gave me a script. Yeah. <laughs> that one is uh, good. I love her looking for a gift for my aunt. That, that one's good, good, too, yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Rejected. I also like the one where it's like the Nazis realizing that they're the bad guys. That's another that that all-time classic. Dude, the finale, yeah. the final sketch in that series is real, though. I didn't see it's it. It's the one where, like, you know, they have that character um, who's like Sherlock Holmes with Alzheimer's, basically. Mm. And it's it's funny because he's, like, not a very good detective, as you might expect. <laughs> um, right, yeah. But then at the end, Alzheimer's. you know, David Mitchell as Sherlock Holmes is like... He basically says, like, I know I've got Alzheimer's, and I just can't shake it. And it just ends on, like, this understated fade to black. And then they're like, that's the end of the series. It's like if yeah, SNL did, like, an British Anne humor. Frank sketch as, like, their final thing before Lorne Michaels retired. It's, it's an extreme, like, it's very ballsy. There's mm. nothing wrong with cans of orange juice, you weirdo. It's not the most common way that they're consumed, probably, Would but... You think the... Yeah, but boxed water is better. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Fuck. Oh, it's doable. I hate wow. it. Oh. I did it. Oh, I am also going to not do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Get, my, my parents used to watch Pawn Stars. That's like one of their favorite shows. Yeah. Mm. Um, for all the shit that it gets. It's not like a. Ne it's an innocent show. At least you get like a little pop culture history with each episode. Yeah, it's, it's not like, like you know. Trash it real hard. Rob yeah. Kardashian and Black China just like eating Burger <laughs> King and yelling at each other. Like, yeah. Well, but, it's like. Uh, uh, oh, whoops. There was. Uh, I remember watching it with them, and I saw for the first no. time someone I recognized on the show. It was uh, Pat the NES Punk oh, selling his okay. gold Nintendo World Champions cart. Yeah. And I was like, "There's he went through hell and back to get that fucking <laughs> thing. There's no way he's selling that. And of course, they had like Chum Lee there like trying to buy it. And I'm like, that's worth like $30,000. They wouldn't let Chum Lee try and uh, buy that. It's, it's <laughs> one of the most valuable gaming collectibles in the world. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that, that show, I mean, granted, I've never really watched it much, so I don't know. But isn't it just kind of like Antiques Roadshow for people who aren't 80? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, like kinda. It, they, it's like they, they try to trick you into liking it because right. there's, like, a, a deal element of it. It's like the same mm. thing as Storage Wars. They can't just be like, here's a bunch of garbage. You know, they got to be like, you got to throw in the possibility. Jared made a bad deal. Lost $400. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ka-ching. 
<laughs> I'm never letting you go to that locker again, Jared. Like, it's just... <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I mean, there are, there are definitely we're, like, worse shows. like, through these today? Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I'm just, like, that busting cool? these shits that up. Yeah, I'm with you, Pyramid. Oh, no. Just for the record, Storage Wars is complete falsity. It's not real. No hey, kidding. Oh, yeah. My. Oh, I know. Yeah, I am. I'm well aware. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. Is Dan gone already? He's gone. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Beat it, Dan. There's, like, Storage Wars and Pawn Stars spawned, like, infinity knockoffs, but yep. how does that happen when Storage Wars is already really bad? Like, <laughs> if, if there's literally nothing else on TV but Storage Wars, at this point in my life, I would rather not watch TV, which I think is completely acceptable. But no. if it's like between Storage Wars and American Pickers or something like that, or like, you know, John's Restoration Dungeon, like, I'd rather <laughs> contemplate picking up my television and throwing it out the window. You, you know what blew my me. fucking mind? Yeah. So you've seen the YouTube um, video of the nice Ryan, the, the guy uh, <laughs> who's like, uh, so and so's big ass truck and storage facility. Right, yeah. <laughs> That guy is the same guy who said, watch your profanity. Yes. It's the same guy. <laughs> I, wow. I did, that's amazing. What kind of con mean connection is that? Oh, no. <laughs> that's two separate, completely separate memes brought together by the same man. That is pretty marvelous, really. That's amazing. Well, some of the shows don't even try to hide that they're fake, right? Like, you, you saw that one that was on True TV where it's the lady oh, and she gets... Oh, like Miami parking. Uh, yeah, yeah. That show is actually hilarious. <laughs> That's It seems like I actually want to watch it because of how over the top it looks. The like, lady, just, like, like, um, they, <laughs> they, they find this woman who's, like, delinquent. She's parked in, like, a bad spot. But then uh, she comes out as they're going to tow her. So she gets in the car and backs over the the lady's accomplice, and he goes flying out of the parking garage, and like... <laughs> yeah. Then she chases her down and beats the crap out of her. Oh, that is actually great. Lizard lick yeah, towing. So oh, no, this yeah. one, yeah, this was South Beach Toe. South Beach Toe, is that what it's called? The yeah, lady then, tears yeah, the so door ridiculous. off. The rag doll? <laughs> oh, that's the one where she, she punches through the the door or the the window like she catches the lady and she punches yeah. through the window to like get her to turn her car off <laughs> yeah. oh that's so good yeah bernice yeah, yeah. right right bernice and don't need no like, ambulance oh. Yeah. oh my god bernice oh jesus <laughs> oh bernice are you okay you killed my partner <laughs> yeah that <laughs> is it oh dude i am so watching that just that <laughs> yeah, video watch more of that I've never heard of that. I want to see it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's it's really almost good. as good as Scatman John's song oh, of uh, Scatland. <laughs> so weird. It's, it's like so it's weird because like it. he's got a couple of other songs that are like not bad that aren't the the Scatman song. <laughs> so Scatman John, for for those unaware, which I have to imagine, uninitiated, is probably nobody, but. Um, Scatman John, most famous for singing the song from like the year 1995, you know, Scatman, do it and so can you. That, that, that guy. He has a follow up single called Song of Scatland, where he details <laughs> the federation that he wishes to create of scatting, and he, he talks about its central. You know, ethos and premises and stuff. In Scatland, nobody has ever heard of evil. Everybody's good all the time. And then <laughs> kids are yeah, always it doesn't, happy. It doesn't rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he but the, the thing is, like, he goes, he gets weird with it. He goes into, like, everyone speaks Scottish in Scatland. Yeah. Scatland is sort of like a leprechaun, also similar to the language spoken by the people of Earth, which is not Scatland. And then you're like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> It's real fucking weird. And then at the end, yes. after this, like, you know, Baz Luhrmann, everybody must wear sunscreen sort of thing, he scats. And he, like, he still brings the heat. He still goes like, and it's like yeah. soulful scatting. And it's so good and horrible simultaneously. <laughs>
It's weird there. I, I after you linked me that, I went, I looked at a Spotify page, and there's another uh, song that's called Scatman's World, I think, <laughs> and he references Scatland and Scatman's World. <laughs> I, I, I hope there's like a concept album. Like track one is like <laughs> everything's great in Scatland, and then track two is the fall of Scatland, and then. <laughs> Is there a Scatland Wikia? Like, do they have all the lore? <laughs> Does Darkiplier live in Scatland? <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Whatever happened to Bernice? Whatever happened to Dog the Bounty Hunter? Isn't he in jail? Yeah. I think he went to jail. I feel like yeah. Malf would know. Malf, what happened to Dog the Bounty Hunter? I fucking don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dog right. the Bounty Hunter or Scatman. <laughs> <sighs> Too busy making pierogies for them. This guy, man, he's got some good songs, though. What do you mean? He's got the one. <laughs> yeah, he, this... no, he does not even have the one, I would argue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's probably fair. Yeah. Austin's Spotify playlist is Ocean Man. Whatever I mean, it is on there, to be fair. Is. And, it's all the uh, man. And the boobily. <laughs> <laughs> Life's Been Ocean Easy man. by Life's Joe been Good. Walsh. <laughs> yeah. Life is easy life. No, but then the you, you watched the Eminem one. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't even think uh, that. Uh, it was Joe Walsh, Life has been good, but then Eminem, I guess, in like 2008 or something, was like, I like this song. I'm going to rap over Joe Walsh's Life has been good. And it's not good. <laughs> it's very corny. Like, it's extremely it's, corny. It's I'm, just so out of place in the world. Like, why did he make this? Didn't Dog the Bounty Hunter have like a bounty put on him? <laughs> I hope so. Didn't that was in Dog the Bounty Hunter too. <laughs> <laughs> Where he has to take in Jafar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Get a bounty on him. Fight a giant snake. That was such a weird period in like television. Like like all all of those reality shows. I mean, it, it's still. I feel like it's a, to a lesser degree now that reality TV is like a cultural phenomenon. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe well, I feel it's like still Netflix like, is kind of like. Forgive the term. Netflix has sort of changed the game there, where people were like, "Well, TV sucked for a while, so there was nothing else to watch. Now TV's yeah. awesome. Why would I watch like these horrible people live their lives when yeah. I can watch something that's actually great?" Like I like Game watching fictional horrible people, like Always Sunny. I watched the first three episodes of this season of Black Mirror. I was like, this show's really good. I need to watch. The I need to get. You Netflix. should watch it. Oh, it's so good. The new season's really good, actually. Like it is. I gotta watch it. Maybe really uh, Netflix emailed me. It was like, hey, do you want another free trial? I should say <laughs> yes. You should yeah, just Jesus get Christ. Netflix, dude. It's, it's nine but bucks, my biggest ten fear bucks. is like I'm gonna pay for Netflix and then I suddenly just don't use it and I got another month. That your biggest it's fear is accidentally spending twelve dollars for one you month. Spend <laughs> that much money a day on fajitas. It's <laughs> kind of good point. It's a Whereas point. it's ten bucks a month for Netflix. Even if you watch, like, if you watch one season and then we, you don't watch another one, yeah, anything we go to else. Pinterio now. Yeah, let's do it. Alt F4. I'm not going to give Austin game. my freaking Netflix <laughs> password. It's, Ryan, give me your Netflix it's password. It's $12 <laughs> for unlimited entertainment. Back in the day, you buy a, a hit clips, and then you pay $12 to get 30 seconds of like the fucking chorus from All Star in two bits per second, right? It's not... You, could, you can do... It's a great value proposition. It doesn't get any better. It's funny that you you're the one pitching it too, because like, isn't Canadian Netflix like way worse than American mm, Netflix? Yeah, it has some stuff that you guys don't, but in general, it's not as good. But it's still decent. It's worth it's, the money. We get all the Netflix yeah. originals, and then like, I think we have a worse movie selection, but it's still pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, who, I mean, I don't really watch Netflix for the movies at all I, anymore. Really, you know. Just watch not? it for uh, for the TV shows. Right. I just want the TV. I want to binge, you know? Let's get Pinterio going. I'm just going to get some water, though. Do it, dude. Don't ever go to the best reality TV show ever, Flavor of Love? Yeah, in Flavor of Love, there's, like, a lady who shits on the floor. <clears throat> That's pretty I weird. really like that one uh, 
security camera footage of the lady. She's like in the milk and butter aisle. She's like uh, an old lady too. She's sixty at least. She just drops her little granny panty trousers and <laughs> takes a shit on the floor and then <laughs> runs away. <laughs> and you're like, why? <laughs> Did you, did you buy some expired milk last week or something? Dude, do you guys see this video on the front page of Reddit right now? That's actually awful. Wait, what is it? So you know that movie, A Dog's Purpose, that came out this month? E- no. Okay, yeah. There's a video, TMZ like leaked a video of them filming it, and it's just this awful video of a guy just forcing this literally horrified German Shepherd dog into fake turbulent water to get a film to get a scene filmed oh, and he's like holding gosh. it by the neck and just throwing it in this like river of turbulent water oh i don't want to see that are they doing it i'm looking at it right it's now it's fucking awful oh this poor dog he's trying to get away i want to go in there it's I, i'm actually like angry i don't want to i don't want to see it i don't i don't want to see it no i don't want to see this this poor pupper Send the guy to jail movie, dude how, isn't a, that illegal? That's a, they can't do yeah, that, right? Very Apparently, illegal. the the representative of the uh, American Humane Association uh, was on set, and he's been suspended. Well, thank God. This dog shouldn't be going. He don't want to go in at all. That makes me actually so mad. Fucking Mufasa moment here with this poor dog. Poor German Shepo. Or we could talk about that clip of the girl in like a skirt with no underwear outside of the club, and she takes a poop into her hand and then just kind of throws it. <laughs> no, doesn't, doesn't she put it in her in her purse? Is that every is that time I come? That's back. a different one. Oh, that's, that's a, a different, different one. <laughs> every time I come back. We're just trying. I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. I, you know. Why is Chad talking about uh, drowning animals then? Why are just trying to lighten the mood? Fault. Oh, okay. Yeah. See. Poop is, is just a bad fun. video on Reddit. Well, no. Although, chat, if you're upset about a sad dog, here's a nice dog. I, I want to see. You know what? I need that, Rob. I'm gonna yeah, sad chain. I posted it. Yeah. No, it's it's nice dog. There's there's a good dog. He's gonna <laughs> well, that's creepy dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna murder him. your whole family. Here's oh, Fido. <laughs> send him a link to uh, Lassie or Old Yeller on on Netflix. That'll cheer him up. You guys hear about like this subreddit called like Reddit Fifty Fifty? No. It's. I don't know why people do. No, this, I mean no. Don't oh. talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it either. That's awful. Why I'm on Reddit that 100 either? zero. That's the good place. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, actually, in a similar note to that kind of a thing, you know, there's that awful subreddit called Watch People Die, mm-hmm. uh, which is yeah. terrible. But then somebody made a joke version, which is people fucking dying, and that subreddit is amazing. What it's, is this really good. gimmick? It's like people or animals like eating shit in funny ways, but then the titles are like, you know, capital letter, lowercase letter, capital letter, lowercase letter, and it's like, the doggo fucking dies getting hit <laughs> by a water tube, you know, <laughs> freak accident. And it's it's hilarious. It's really good. So I, I would highly recommend it. We need more funny clip subreddits and less awful subreddits. I agree with you. I do not like 50-50. There's no, there's no positive to 50-50. I nope. just want to see the, the cute koala. I don't want to see a man impaled in the asshole with a the swimming pool. Yeah. I learned I about it. At a, I was watching a, a funny video, like, dog with some nice music in the background. And <laughs> people in the YouTube comments like, oh, won the Reddit 50-50 this time. I was like, what is, what? You guys, well, just watch the video. Why do you got to take a risk? It's yeah. A, it's a funny video. It's, it's one of dog. those things where I'm like, if you go to that subreddit, you need a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Good point. Like, when I was like 14, and I'd be like, yeah, I'm bored. What should I do? I don't know. Add some excitement to my life by maybe clicking on a picture of a corpse. As an adult, <laughs> it's not just that that doesn't appeal to me. It's like, I can't justify having the time in my life to do that. I got things to do. Yeah. You know what I do with my with my time when I'm not working? I do the laundry or the dishes or something. You know, cook a meal. Uh, that's yeah. not, 
I've had I've had enough of that in my life seeing like dead people on the internet. Like I used to come home sometimes and my mom would be on my computer and, and she'd be like, Hey Bob, come here, come come take a look at this, you'll like it. And then it's just like a dude fucking get his head chopped off. And I'm like, No, no, don't don't say come here, come take a look at this. No, I don't want to see Rob, that. Rob, you're you, you that is a little hypocritical of you because you're the guy in Skype link and stuff like, hey guys, check this, check this out. This guy gets like wrecked by a car and <laughs> well, I don't know. That's Dan Giesling. That's Dan. Dan. Yeah, no. yeah. That's uh, mm, but I will post ones of like like hey, check out this lady shitting all over this <clears throat> you know, I don't know something. She shits on things. Hey chat, do you remember that time at uh, halftime when Bobby came <laughs> back and provided us with the Pinterio two code? Do you want Room. the number? You gotta tell well, me. Well, okay. Well, first I'm just gonna say Shy Colossus uh, <laughs> mustard pudding, epic fallout. <laughs> Crucible. Wait, no, we've already done some of these. Chilled milk we did. Nerp 7. Monkey 2371. Steel meatballs. Poly Indigo. Kilted Wonder. UB365. Cannibal Obsters. WTH2. Fist of Kane. Pyropunk. Eye Lock. Colorblind Panda. Crimson Shard. Butt Clencher. Smiley Sam 123. Banal. Jason HXP74. Billy the Kid. Knapsack. Buddha's Dietitian. Assume Sultalil, Zappon 900, Dinzel, Story Plays Games, Jazzy T, Asian Muffin, I Want to Come in Northern Lion, Kayatro, The Incredible Emra, or The Incredible MRE, Captain Oblivious, Samuel Jams, at Dupe, Five Times Sten, thank you for the subscriptions, and then Wolfie, Country Hat, Anonymous, and Tenth Karma, thanks for the cheers. Good to go. Delta, 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 Delta. Delta, Delta, yeah. yeah Delta, 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 Delta. Um, hold on, it said misconnection for me, but you guys are ready for the number? No. Yes. Yes. Okay, hold on. I think I gotta refresh the page, because... Hold on. By the way, while we're waiting here, someone in chat said, NL, why do you waste money on Netflix? Our society is fucked if $12 <laughs> a month for infinite entertainment is not good enough. Mm. That's a fair point. I Madonna. agree. Netflix is great. I, I love Netflix. If I you just had, bought just Netflix recently. If you had given me that concept as like a 15-year-old, I would have been like, that's the greatest thing ever. Google Play, between Google Play Music and Netflix, I have infinite movies, TV, and music for like $24 a month. That's the cost of one CD in the year 2000. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. It's amazing. It's insane. I've said for a long time the, the I think the reason that uh or I don't I don't see it as much. Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe it's anecdotal here, but I feel like piracy has gone way down because the convenience of buying video games on the internet has mm. skyrocketed in recent years, you know? But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe and maybe I, piracy's way up. I don't know. I feel like when you pirate like it as well, though. like you're not paying money, but you are like exposing your computer to like Lithuanian malware. True. Yeah. I think you mean malware. Ew. <laughs> Netflix yeah, is great, but not malware. infinite. I bet there's more content on Netflix released every month than <laughs> there are minutes in a human lifespan. So it's not infinite, but it's like it's functionally it's infinite. Yeah. I agree. Netflix is great. I love it. Well, I'm glad we're on the um, same page. What I... What did I call me? What did I call me? <laughs> what did I call me? me? <laughs> uh, okay. okay. No, All I right. did not overestimate Netflix. You underestimate what the world was like pre-Netflix. <laughs> Go to Jumbo Video, pay $8 to rent one movie for a weekend. A service has come out that's fulfilled all problems with this model. Mm -hmm. People were like, I wish it was $2.50 less per month. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't know what this is. It's kind of hard to... Beautiful. Great drawing. Ah, there you go. Stan. Doesn't cable do what Netflix does, but better? Excuse what? Excuse me? <laughs> what kind of... Are you 70? Well, hey now. <laughs> Let's not be <laughs> ageist. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, as uh... 
Netflix is way better than than cable now because it's on demand whenever you want it, whatever you want. Basic you want, cable is like forty bucks a month. You don't even get to watch anything. I also do love that Netflix originals come out all at the same time because, or I mean, the whole season comes out at the same time because it's just like, you know what? I do want to watch six episodes of the new season of House <laughs> yeah. of Cards, you know, day one. Oh, you're right. It is an overlay. Sorry, chat. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Um, uh, you know what? You should just subscribe to Crackle. It's a real good deal. <laughs> Dude, even Jerry Seinfeld's leaving Crackle. Yep. Yep, is exactly. It really? Coming to Netflix. Comedians and cars getting coffee coming to Netflix. Thank God. It shows all right. Can NFL football come to Netflix already? Please. Or like Twitter or something? Because I'm so tired of dealing with the fucking I want to watch football streaming. and I can't watch football. Yeah, it sucks. It's the worst, man. I'm using letters, by the way, but. That's, I mean. Why wouldn't I use me. numbers as well? Great question. <laughs> They're all number 10. Oh, that says April. All right. Uh, is it Celestial Bodies? Oh. 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 Good job. Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. 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 We all play video games mm. for a living. <laughs> April's fool. I don't. You well, know the thing with Netflix now. Don't think about it. You can <laughs> you can download a lot of the shows and watch them later. Yeah, right. Yeah, they added that, which is crazy because um, like that's they didn't up the price for that either, did they? Because like that. Well, they upped the price like a month or like a year ago, didn't they? Yeah. Still though. I don't know. Also, like even though I have some issues with Netflix UI. Like, it's not as bad as Amazon Prime UI for, like, Amazon Prime Video. <clears throat> yeah. That shit sucks ass. I still it's watch bad, things yeah. on it, but, like, man, they really need to update that shit because it is, it sucks. What's the point of downloading Netflix shows? I download a couple episodes, and then I start my, like, 30 gigabytes a night of YouTube uploading. Yeah. That way I don't have to watch the Netflix stuff in, like, 350 or 350p. That's what we have in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> if you subscribe to us and you're telling me Netflix is a bad decision, you should unsubscribe from us and subscribe to Netflix instead. Why is the Switch... Why is the new Zelda 900p? I didn't even know really you could do that. Is it really? Yeah. It's 900p. Uh, that's amazing with a new system coming out in 2017 that there's they still can't hit 1080p. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not to draw soft. What was that last ah. thing you were drawing there? It was like a world scariest key. Little, I was gonna draw like a little kitty or something. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh fuck. Sorry, chat. That being said, you know your Twitch Prime tokens have probably uh, renewed. So if you want to click yeah, that little, go ahead so and use them. If you want right to go up there and click that little subscribe button, it might say use your token, and then you can use it right here. Yeah, where I can tell you that you're wasting your it. money and you should spend it on Netflix instead. <laughs> yeah, if you want to, it, it, it's a weird hub uh, website. But if you go to twitchtv virtual slash subscribe you can sub to anybody. You just have to click the button, and then they'll <laughs> ask you afterwards. It gives you a global uh, subscription. Sub Right, exactly. To Twitch. Yeah. It's a good system. All right. Um, okay. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's the other one. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> <that's> the <laughs> oh, you fuck your. You beat me by that. You fuck your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look, okay, like 500 Twitch Prime subscriptions. That yep. really does work, doesn't it? <laughs> just a reminder. Yeah, Otherwise, just sitting too. there doing nothing. Like, yeah. Yeah. If I was like, hey, give me your credit card information and subscribe, that'd be one thing. But if you're already paying for Twitch Prime, you might as well click the button. Otherwise, you're just leaving my money on the table. <laughs> or Rob's money, or, <laughs> you know, Austin's money, or Mouse money. Yeah. yeah. Or Josh's money, if you still subscribe to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. If you give it to me, though, chat, all of your wildest dreams will come true. Is that true? Only one way to find out, honestly. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> oh, it's a Robert drawing. I give I give you more credit than all these it's other not jokers. Leisure. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not leisure, is it? <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> that's that's pretty good. What did you do, Rob? <laughs> I I didn't do anything. Oh, it's what you did. Uh oh. What did, I, uh, did I spell leisure wrong? No comment. How do you spell oh, leisure? <laughs> that go kart is so good. <laughs> it is Le leisure. <laughs> leisure. Fuck! <laughs> Go kart is leisure, amazing, is man. Oh, Fucking you. leisure. Leisure. <laughs> leisure. You guys are gonna love. That's this what people one. do for leisure. They they fly a kite. You guys ever fly a kite? I have. Yeah. Yeah. A fucking ton as a kid. Yeah, but yeah. like, do people still do it? Like, is yes. this still a thing? Sometimes, if I'm like. You know, biking around the seawall. I'll see like some dudes with kites. Yeah, it Did kind of just strikes those... me as like an excuse to be outside, though. Yeah, I mean, I think that's all right, though. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm you know, you're outside. You know... There's anything wrong with it? <laughs> I mean, they have like some dope ones, like like a big dragon thing, like uh, that flies around, like a Chinese dragon kind of thing. Why is the dragon? Those are cool. Chinese. Nope. Because it's not a, it's a, it's not yeah, why a isn't European it dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is the thing you did the other day that no one fucking got. And you're drawing it again now. Mm. That's great, Ryan. We're going to definitely get it this time. R R R it's some fucking dude, some famous dude, that even Nick was like, that's who that was? Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, we're not going to get it now. What's the problem? I'm not, it's not great. happening. It's great, Ryan. Great drawing. <laughs> what did they say? Got him. Fool me twice. Shame on you. Fool me this time. Oh, right, right, right. It's, yeah, right. It's. it's... Yeah, mouth. Look at chat. Yeah, I, I, I did too. So yeah. much about this. What's the problem? <laughs> I got four points. It wasn't worth the brain power. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> <Elby, laughs> <man. laughs> That's actually a fantastic oh, drawing off. of Klaus Nomi. God damn this word. <laughs> How do I draw this without being lewd? Ooh. Oh, uh, damn it. God, I don't know. I have no idea. Urination. All right, imagine if I just drew a penis on screen <laughs> okay. right now. I drew a penis. Yeah. What would you guess? Penis. Um, just pretend I drew a penis. I would draw a penis. I would say dick. No. Schlong. There's definitely a <laughs> penis on screen right now. Tallywhacker. Uh. Bone. Burr? Bomber. Yeah. It's, it's a, bomber. a bomber, right? <laughs> Gummies. God damn it. Imagine if you're reading like a, a pornographic fiction, right? Yeah. And they're looking for. They're in the Thesaurus clan. All right, words for the, penis. The Are we playing charades? Right That's now? what we're like, doing right now because I can't draw a penis. And I, that's what I would draw for this word. Draw a cucumber and two melons. I'll draw an eggplant. All right. Ryan doesn't know what an eggplant is, though. <laughs> Can you also draw. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. All right. We're in there. Wait. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just draw like. Gold member. Yeah. Why don't you yeah. draw what, Mouth? <laughs> yeah, gold member. <laughs> draw gold member. Make him eat his skin. Seen gold member. You've never seen oh. gold member? You're gonna what have that reaction to me? <laughs> fucking tragedy. You've seen? Uh, wait, what did you see two of? But you've never seen. I can't uh, remember. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's gold member. Gold member. What? Gold member. Hey, what is this? Is? How did you already guess? This? Yeah, how'd you guess this? It's like Doctor exactly what like it is. All of the <laughs> it's, a, it's a word in the English oh. language. Oh, come on. It's not. I did not have like a word bank and go. All right, here we go. We fucking. It's a line that's brown on the lower part of the screen. What could that yes. mean? 
What's the? There's like a dude <laughs> hiding behind the grass. Ground. That's just a rock. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's a rock. It has a face. They didn't have gray. <laughs> The rocks have lines. That's a man hiding behind like Third a graph lines. of the yeah. Nortel stock price. I know you want it. Fox, are you excited to vote for Kevin O'Leary in two years? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm Canada's Trump. I guess that's like probably the closest thing. Oh, God, really? On the one yeah. hand, he's like a bald bro. And on the other hand, he's really rich. So that's two hands that say vote for Kevin O'Leary, in my mind. He's uh, on Canada's version of Shark Tank or whatever, Dragons. He's also on America's was. version of Shark Tank. Yeah, whatever. It's called Shark he's, Tank. He's very sure of himself, but uh, he's got like a witch's nose. <laughs> Got a witch's I love this nose. cool doggo, dude. This is a great <laughs> dog. Whoa, wait. Or is oh, that's it? me? That could be a horse. He's got glasses. This is me. <laughs> Give him a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is this? I don't think Austin smokes. Whoa. Oh, smoke. his back is to us. Oh, well. He's got some very pronounced shoulder blades. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Put his head on backwards, man. Wait. Oh, you fucker! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? "How do you spell stomach with four letters?" <laughs> <laughs> STMK A great name for like a Swedish restaurant. STMK? STMK. Uh, are you asking for an acronym? Oh, fuck what? Oh no. <laughs> oh uh, no. <laughs> no! I control aid and deleted Oh, never mind. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> never mind. Fair enough. Da 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 da. Fox, did you eat any weird stuff in Norway? No, I mean, like, the most foreign thing to me, uh, but delicious is, is duck. Everything else is, like, really? for breakfast. Yeah. Huh? That's foreign to you. Duck. It's, not, it's just, like, at least in our family, it's not, like, a common thing. Mm. Oh, fuck. I don't think my mom's ever made duck, like... No, but it's good. I I really like it. That's um, a, that one to the penis. Oh fuck! Mm. But I do love the breakfast. They get like these different types of of like flatbreads, and they get the rye bread and all that stuff. And they've got you know the different types of of deli meats and stuff. And you got the the mustard and the mayos and the liver pate. And you just go to town. The hard boiled eggs or or whatever kind of eggs you want. You know. It's just fun, you know? It's like lunch for breakfast with a little bit of breakfast thrown in there for shits and giggles. That sounds good. Yeah. I hate you. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so the first part is the first part of it. The second part is the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. Lab laptop. Yep. All right. Yeah. Lab laptop. Well, that could be lab a laptop. MacBook on the bottom. Lab really. MacBook. <laughs> little MacBook Pro, baby. MacBook Pro, baby. America. Oh, here we go. I know Chad's been waiting for this. No, <laughs> you need to do a mouth face. Yep. It's been a while. Yeah, I like the mouth face. I tried to get my tablet to work, by the way, with Pinterio, mm. but for some reason, like, it works fine, but it, it doesn't work when OBS is open. Weird. Yeah. That is weird. It's about. It's annoying. I though. think I've gotten through all the four letter <laughs> mouth parts. <laughs> I don't know if we've done this one. Uh, does he have a bunch of shit on his lips? No. Is he just rimming the wrong person? This guy really just... Oh, oh he's going to be bad, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be a full moon. <laughs> we, we, we were robbed of the full drawing. Man. Yeah. I don't like that. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> no, that was. There used to be a grain tower alone on the sea. 
Oh, uh, yeah. You it's from a rose. Became... He hits a note there that doesn't exist anymore. What? Yeah, when he goes, love remains. He hits like a like a high fucking epsilon. That note was outlawed yeah. like two years after that song came out. <laughs> You hit the note when, pretty well, though. I know honest. that it's felt pretty good. Rare for you. Is yeah, that yeah. what it's, is that what it's <laughs> like to, to be able to sing? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. Um, oh, um, gotcha. Great drawing. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 It's a file folder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's the, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a file folder. Fire, fire folio, fire folio. It's just a folio made of fire. Or a patio made of fire. I want to drink coffee on a terrace. Not just like right now, <laughs> Rob, but like in general. I think it's going to be a in, good time. You know what I'm in saying? In Scantland, like all it. coffee's consumed <laughs> on terraces and all of it is absolutely free. I'm just saying, man. It's it's enjoyable. <laughs> it is. I, I like coffee or tea. Yeah. Because uh, my, my balcony faces east, so you get the, the sunrise, right? Which is, is a good time for drinking mm -hmm. coffee. Absolutely. You know, like, oh, I need this coffee, and then this, you look at the sun, and you're like, all right, I can do this. Let's go, world. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, man. And then you accidentally yeah, trip boy. and fall over and you <laughs> die. <clears throat> I need a terrace in my life. I'm all right with the dying part. I got a, uh, uh, I got a French press last week. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty good. How Makes many French like a... did you press? <laughs> Un? So far, though. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It's pretty good. It makes a nice velvety cup of coffee. Still not as efficient as cold brew, but if the cold brew's done and I forgot to do it the night before, then it's an efficient way to get a nice cup of coffee. I'm telling you, I prefer because it's funny because just a few weeks ago I got a cheap pour over method one. Ooh, sorry, what? It's called the, the word that over. you just said. You said what? you had a cheap whore. <laughs> well, I, should, I got a. <laughs> I got a <laughs> Pour over method. Pour. Okay, that's not what you said the first two times. <laughs> well, Discord is oh, a bit fuck. of a ding dong. So it's a yeah, cheap whore. But, Your uh, mother's a dirty whore. I can't believe that you actually got that. Before. Well, they gave us the first letter, so I was like, "This dog is this thing." What <laughs> word starts with this letter that is this thing? Oh, oh. it's up. Uh... Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I just wanted to draw a clock face, that's, man. That's the uh, that's the guy from Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> TT. Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, great music. And yeah, course. great video game, really. Can you, can you give me, like, a little Diddy Kong oh. Racing theme? The I don't intro think I theme. It. It's like, do, 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 Diddy Kong Racing. No, and then it goes. It's so good. I don't remember that. For some reason, it's the main. Look it up. You'll remember it, and you'll be like, "Holy shit!" I played probably like 200 hours of that as a kid. So, really, yeah. I played a lot of Turok when I was a kid too. Same console. Game kind of sucked. Yeah. Torok very much at all. Although that's like ripe for like a Wolfenstein type remaster kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, but Bethesda should think? buy that. Yeah, right? Fucking Rambo shooting dinosaurs? That'll sell. His eyes really bring his hair out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I do like new mouth face right now. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, his mouth! He's drawn himself! Not Meowth. Oh. Is that just... <laughs> oh, <my laughs> God. Yeah, fair enough. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. Ruka. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish the drawing. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to be. Yeah. Okay, that's his arm. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh. After he got the cheap pour over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. You know who composer of Diddy Kong Racing was? Who the what? Composer, Mick oh, composer of Diddy it's Kong Racing. It's got Grant Kirkhope, right? No, David Wise, the other one. <laughs> uh, does he make the potato chips? No, he makes all the Donkey Kong music from back in the day. Oh, okay. Performing for you. No, that's Grant Kirkhope. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because you know the words you can join in too. Is that a <laughs> Moai head? What on earth? Oh, is this the show me what you got guy? <laughs> show me what you got. Oh, yeah. Shit. I'm out of it this time, Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Broca. Toma. Broca. G. Coconut gun. <laughs> oh. Show me what you Still, got. The swerve gets me every time, man. When he, <laughs> they, he goes, she has no style. She has a no coconut gun. But this <laughs> crazy Kong's got a coconut gun. <laughs> She's quick and nimble. Yeah. And, and quick, quick and, and nimble. And my Luca favorite, and Tomo and... <laughs> The best, the, the best part is it just randomly goes into you, soldier boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Sims house. Like this is the we get the inside because of the. Yeah. Um... yeah. All right. Typed it faster than me, and I hate it. It was a shag carpet. Inflate his balloon, just like a <laughs> balloon. 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 What is that video? Oh, you are in for a treat. Go ahead and just look up Coconut Gun, and it'll probably be the first one. Yep. Or it'll be one of the other six of them. I don't know. It's a toss-up. Oh, how precious. They just discovered Silva Gunner. There is nothing that instantly invalidates any coolness you think you have, like discovering <laughs> an internet video before somebody else. <laughs> You gotta slow your roll with that stuff. That's ridiculous. Hey, I wanted to share something with you to add some joy to humanity. Uh, takes drag off cigarette. You just discovered this video? <laughs> I remember when I discovered that video in the Stone Age. It's <laughs> a good voice. Thank you. That's just Alex. The Sally. No, <laughs> come on. I mean, that's that's what that voice is. Uh, what is this laundry detergent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's bleach. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, that's bleach. That's what that is. Would you like some butter waffles? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alex keeps tweeting in Belgium, and I can't understand it. He does keep in tweeting Belgium? in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hey, it. That's where he lives. Yeah, <laughs> he's not going to France to tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Good drawing. Ah, get off! Just can't step it on my freaking testicles. Stop it. Yeah, what testicles? You this yeah. you know, cats do like that kneading thing. This buddy weighs like five kilos now. It's like a Swedish massage I never asked for. Um, I'm so tired of my cat. They want to jump up on me, right? But what they do is, is they'll jump up and they'll decide midway through they don't want to jump up anymore or they're not going to make it. And so they go into full-on panic claw in leg mode. Yeah. It's the worst. Just stab you because they're like, oh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna make this jump anymore. I gotta make sure I don't, you know, hurt myself. Let me dig into your skin and uh, see if that that helps. You know, uh, when they're kneading, they're trying to get the milk out of you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> milk. Why you gotta make it weird? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Get on, the on my milk testicle. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. He thinks he, no! thinks he can get milk out of your testicles. <laughs> and then when I <laughs> shout, he panics and like steps deeper. <laughs> it works. <laughs> what on earth is it drawing? It'll all make. Oh, sense I know exactly what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know precisely what this is. Oh yeah, no, I see what it is now too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get it, boys. Cool. Yeah. Great drawing. Thanks, Malf dude. hasn't gotten to this stage of the game yet, so. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. Got him. Got him real good there. <laughs> Those are very bad looking inserters. They look like people. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, for a while I thought that was like the worst desk of all time. 
Everybody's a critic. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Wait, you guys are still using call? <laughs> don't, don't act like, what are you doing in your face? You got blue science yet? You even got green science yet? I got purple science. That's yeah, green that's science easy. is easy. Don't even start thinking green science is hard. Blue okay? science is difficult. Yeah. Yo, Rob, I gotta show you my blue science maker. Do you have? Ooh. Do you have? You have you figured out the oil stuff? I did. It's so good. I gotta show you. I gotta. Show oh, you. thank God! Yeah, it I'm very is happy about that. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. That's good. Oh, also, Ooh. yeah. My my uh, prophecy came true. Everybody hates me on the Factorio <laughs> series. <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. Is this it's all right? We get a lot better in the next recording session, chat. Is Don't this worry a Magic the it. Gathering? I. Th Fuck, it's not, it's Hearthstone. Oh, no, it's a Hearthstone, yeah. Oh. Fuck. Oh, Austin, great. I'm, I'm disappointed. This. It's just, it looked like a Magic the Gathering card, not a Hearthstone card. Look at the proportions on that thing. The, what? Look Magic it. cards are way taller. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it only does this for sure. But throw the six damage on that, Ryan. <laughs> that's That'll that's really... not enough room. <laughs> I love Forgotten Torch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you typing there? No, oh, sorry. Can you hear that? Sorry, I'm defending myself on uh, in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we recorded a huge chunk of this, and then... Rob, you look there. You got his YouTube comments, dog. Yeah, There's no, I know. No... I know. I told my chat this earlier because they were def my chat was defending you too. Like you yeah. can't stop them; they don't exist yeah. in this in yeah. this realm. No. That's I the realize. only thing that can happen realize. is like you read too many YouTube comments, and then you go, "I don't want to do that anymore." Like, yeah, I don't pretty even want much, yeah. people go like they read so many of the comments. They're like, "I don't even want to make this stuff." People are gonna yell at me. So mm -hmm. you read the top comment of people giving you constructive feedback, and then you all tab away. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's uh, I saw it coming. Um, oh, what that is, is right? that. But why oh, is why it you nice the place? Yeah, what? okay, that was good. Hmm. Come on, Rabbi. Like there are like... people who actually think that I have a mental disability because <laughs> of a, like a mistake made in the Binding of Isaac. Oh yeah. And no, at I some know, point, you just you get to the point where you're like. Well, I must have a mental disability if I keep reading these on a daily basis, because that's just the stupidest yeah. thing I've ever heard. I had yeah. I had one guy. This is great because like he commented on one of my like random Isaac videos, and and he thought I don't know why he thought he, he thought he was the smartest man in the world. But he's like, oh, no wonder your channel died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> he's like man, you <laughs> oh. You do not, uh, you don't get it, do you? Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. You got me so good. Yeah. It is the nature of the YouTube comments. I, I And, you know, I, I knew it was coming because I was the one that had to teach things to do when I had no idea what I was doing either, you know? So it's inevitable. I already see my own mistakes, but it's okay. It's okay. Huh? Um <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm just repeating what you guys are doing now. Does what? It, is it L word? Is it lisp? Does it's that sleep. man have a lisp in his sleep? Slep. Well, we we sleeping at 3 p.m. on the couch. What would you call this guy? Uh, oh. Oh, Larry. Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Larry. Fuck you. And Al, I don't think he meant a mental disability. I think he meant a learning disability. I don't have a learning disability. <laughs> I went to school to with mouth for like four years. Yeah, and I got some stuff to tell you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> we never told him about his learning disability. <laughs> One time, Ryan and I were playing one versus one hundred on Xbox Live. This sounds like and it could be a true story. And he didn't know that the sun was the closest star. That did happen planet. once. I I did. <laughs> I once blanked on it, and I suggested that the sun was not the closest star to Earth. 
I will own up to that. But you know what? I've never made that mistake again because of the shame of that moment. So (laughs) you shouldn't have to make it. (laughs) Really good point. I know. Hey, I also like won one versus a hundred (laughs) once. So you take you you take the the good with the bad, man. I want a copy of uh, Mega Man Nine that Microsoft never sent to me, which was fine because I already owned it. You okay, Mouse? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't like the teeth? <laughs> no, they're good teeth, honestly. Uh, I just thought it was a little bit deeper than that at first. I didn't draw it. It was awesome. Oh, that's it's okay. Awesome the whole time. It's, good, it's fine drawing. This one's going to be fast, so be careful, guys. All right, it's Marake. Damn it. <sighs> it's going to be Marake again one of these days. It's not economy? All right. That's a broken Pokeball. What? <laughs> Okay, yeah, gotcha. I know what that is. Hey, chat, if you want something to watch on Netflix, I recommend Secrets of the Earth, I think it's called. Oh. It's fun. You can How's learn the OA? Uh, I stopped after, like, four episodes because it sucks balls. Really? Yeah, I don't, I think, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're, I didn't know what was going on. Can I get mad at Ryan for a second really quick here? Yeah. You're going to draw whoever the fuck that other guy was. But for this one, you're not going to draw Terry Crews? I drew a bat. Terry. I drew a bat Terry. <laughs> Terry Crews? You could you draw the best bat. opportunity in the world. And <laughs> you think you I can draw Terry Crews? That man is not composed exclusively of straight lines. <laughs> uh, hold on one quick second. I need to look up exactly what this looks like. Yeah, it looks about what I thought it would look like, so this is going to be difficult. Okay. Um... All right. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, okay. You never... <laughs> How do you spell this one? Rob. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I, I knew I this is what I thought it looked like, but I... There's no way in a million years I'll be able to draw this. <laughs> or that uh, spell this. Oh, oh, just right, get right, right, your right. inner Rob, Italian You've never you know? seen one of these in your life? No, I have. Like I said, I know I know what it looks like, or I thought I knew what it looks like, and I was correct. You know what's always good is fried zucchini. No matter where you get it from, in what manner, if it's in strips or, like, chunks, mm. or it's always good fried You're zucchini. You're talking about, like, zucchini sticks? Have you ever read zucchini sticks? You know, that's, that's what you Yeah, mean? I think I have, actually, and they're it's really like, good. Yeah, what? Zucchini's the deep fried. from the sky? Mm. Chad, you can't just put zuck in, Chad. That's not even, that doesn't make sense. I mean, they're you doing can. it. You can't yeah. stop them. Can we get some Zucks going? Can we get some Mark Zucks? Mark Zuckerbergs? <laughs> He's Jack, dude. I wouldn't want to fight him. <laughs> exactly. He's fucking ripped his L. I was like, they, they looked up his vitals and he's like 5'6, 135 pounds. <laughs> he's Jack, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Manny Pacquiao. You mess with a guy like that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He'll fuck you up. Definitely. No doubt. <laughs> what in the world is this is this what working in an office is like you just turn two squares into one square (laughs) there's a word for that and use a pair of wax lips to do it it's a stapler that's my stapler come on staple removers look like little faces though Mm. Uh, paradolia look like little faces Look at the ones with the huge, like, scorpion teeth on them? Yeah. <laughs> Get sucked. Oh, Rob, you can watch OA if you want. I know some <laughs> people call me out on that, but... I'll try it. No, I mean, if hey, I... you know, to, to your point, I watched, a, I watched like, a couple episodes of Sense8 mm, recently yeah. on, on Netflix. Yo, that's and it has, like... not Canadian. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks for the update on that. Um, it's the Wachowski brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the Wachowski sisters. The Wachowski well, siblings. The Wachowskis. It, they, they just, they're yeah. in, in the title, it just says directed by the Wachowskis. So, yeah. But um, anyway. Could we have gotten that wrong more often? <laughs> Wachowski brothers, Wachowski sisters, and then the Wachowskis. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a great drawing. Uh, Either yeah, way, ladies. my point is. Oh, oh. oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Wait. My point is, I didn't like it very much. It. It just. Same. Someone I'm friends with on um, Facebook was like, if I could show you one clip to get you to watch Sense Eight, it would be this. And it was a yeah. montage of like ten different characters singing "What's Going On" or sorry, "What's Up" by Four Non yeah. Blondes. And I was mm -hmm. like, "You're a terrible salesman." That moment <laughs> in in the context of the show might be highly earned. Like maybe that's a payoff. No, but it's as a not. trailer or like you should watch it because of this. I was like, this is the most like fake saccharine melodramatic like nonsense. Yeah, like I, I was ta I told I, I was typing about that in the Skype group when I was watching that scene and I was like, this is an unironic scene where they sing through the entire yes. song. Like the whole thing. And it, and and there's another part where they just have this massive orgy, but then they never talk about like none of the characters react about the orgy and it, it's like was it a was it a dream or like what what happened with the orgy? Like what it's very, it's a very confusing show, but it's incredibly highly rated. Um, so, I don't know. No, oh, there were a lot of shows. I just find like a lot of the Netflix shows, like some of them, are pretty decent, but they just lead on too much. Fucking, I hated yeah. Jessica Jones. Okay, so this guy's sitting mm. sideways at his desk. It's what it's like it to be left-handed in a right-hander's world. <laughs> <clears throat> it started out so well, and then it just got worse and worse as the season went on. It only what happened in their minds. Yeah, no, I know. But then the thing is, the characters react whenever they do any mind stuff. And that, like none of them was going to bring up like, oh, yeah, remember that great orgy that we just had in our minds? Like nobody <laughs> says anything about it. Like no, nobody, nobody talks about it the whole time. <laughs> like there are characters who didn't interact with one another ever before. And then they're just like, oh, yeah, this dude just showed up for the orgy. Starts, you know, I was fucking my mouth now. Cool. I don't know who he is, but that happened. I also don't oh, know what this is. He's giving a thumbs up drawn. to a poster in the room that has a big thumbs up on it. You should have drawn the <laughs> movie poster for knowing. Oh, I should have. You're right. Ruka? Meow. Ruka. I'm a cat. You can meow. hate me all you want. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Ruka. <laughs> Ruka wanted to weigh in on that. It's not dinner time, Ruka. Oh, <laughs> careful don't now. Don't you start. Don't <laughs> you start. <laughs> he, wants, he wants a taste of those uh, dough that. balls. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> he wants to knead Ryan's balls or milk uh, them or something. Yeah, so like. I was like, that show could be good, but that trailer, it said it, it's like an, it undertailed it, to be honest with you. Like, it set it back like another two years in the viewing queue. <laughs> it's are like, you, it's should, not, are you, are you getting close to two years from Undertale now? I think, I think it's there has, time. there has been a surprisingly, over the past like maybe eight months, very few people have been like, you gotta play Undertale, it changed my life. Which means that it's been working its way through the queue. As games <laughs> get pulled out in front of it, it moves up. So, I mean, it's got to be getting there at this point. It's going to be a subscriber show once you finish The Witcher 3, really. But if, like, if they release, like, a, you know, HD remake game of the year edition, it's going back to the bottom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that one. <laughs> It'd be great if they did an HD remake and they just remade the game in 3D. Oh, that's so good. That is actually really good. It's a great drawing. Yeah, uh, something happened to his back at the one part. <laughs> yeah, his <laughs> neck's like, er Got Yo, you got you guys ever you guys ever ride a horse? Yeah. Nope. I've never ridden a horse. Weird, I'm from Texas and I have not ridden a horse. I've only done it once myself, but and it was in Mexico. I, my family owned two horses and I didn't ride a horse. Really? Why oh, didn't you ride a horse? Crazy now. Yeah, you should ridden a horse sense. at that point. <laughs> Look, man, horses are fucking stupid. They're huge. <laughs> And they don't give a fuck if they accidentally kill you. Why would you get on top of the back of one? We have cars now. That, actually, though, like to your point, they are way bigger than you expect. Yeah, yeah. like large animals. They, they are. They like they're like I I don't know. Like maybe I'm I'm crazy, but like I don't know. When when I see him in a movie, I just never think of a horse being that big. But they're like you know, 
six feet tall on four legs, you know? Like, they're, they're fucking massive, man. Um, but, uh, anyway, so the point that I was trying to make with that story was that, uh, if you ride a horse, they have this little knob on the back of their neck that just kind of quivers, and it's really weird. <laughs> That's not <laughs> what you think it is. <laughs> is it not? Oh, good drawing. Oh, oh yeah, that is good drawing, yeah. This, look, horses are dumb, chat. So people are like, oh, wow, no, they're like, you. Uh, if you've owned a horse, you understand this. They are dumb, and you have to be prepared for them to be dumb, or they will accidentally kill you. Yeah. Just be like, oh, I don't like this oh. fucking thing in front of me. I'm going to fall over on it. <laughs> Robert, one of those know. clocks is set incorrectly. At least you know one what? of those clocks is set incorrectly. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> Wait, why is it set incorrectly? <laughs> one of them one says 3 o'clock. The other one says 902. Oh, well, I, it didn't have to be the same time. You know, it is, it is different clocks. I considered thinking about it, but I didn't want to figure it out because I don't remember how to read clocks sometimes. That's like, uh, you guys ever see those watches that just like don't have the numbers on them? They just have the. Yeah, you know. that's unnecessarily. I don't. If I have to look at my watch for longer than like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Then like, what's the point? Issue. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how I feel about it. Oh, that's a Fuji table. And that's pretty simple. Good drawing. Thank you. Is it a Fuji table? <laughs> I mean, this Mount Fuji, and then that's a table with, like, sushi on it, so do the math. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, bud. <laughs> yeah, all right. Is I mean, that's racist? That Excuse me? <laughs> it's a mountain and a piece of fish. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to draw a box there that said, fuck all Japanese people, though. So, like, <laughs> thank God you guys yeah, guessed fair, it yeah. first, because it was bordering on racism. All right. <laughs> I had to look this up, and uh, apparently I'm gonna be the dumbest man on planet Earth for having to look this up. Is I mean, it I know zucchini? It I I I know what these are. But I didn't know they were called this. Also, I'm gonna mm. do terribly in drawing them. All right, as an apple. It's testicles. Two seasons, zucchini. Is it an avocado? Is it Avogadro's avocados number? <laughs> <laughs> There's a horse in your room. What is this? What? Oh, I'm erasing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, this is getting weird. What the fuck is happening? Is it a happy sun frog? It's a singing oh. happy sun frog. Yeah. This is a horrible drawing. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> you could so easily split this into two, dude. Yeah, but they got. They wouldn't. Be okay, noise. this is what a Jamaican fisherman asks you to do once you get far enough away from the shore. <laughs> uh, <no>. Swim, man. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta cast the nets. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> ah, right. That's really funny. All right, now maybe we bordered on. Racial, oh. racial humor. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Swim, man. <laughs> right, here we go. Throw it at him, not me. <laughs> Chad, I just want to say I'm sorry for offending you. <laughs> I'll forgive you someday. I just don't like it as much as people made it yep. out to be. What, the OA? I've heard the same no, thing about no, the Jessica OA. Jones really struck a chord with chat. Jesse uh, Jones and me, <laughs> starring the girl from Breaking Bad. She was the yep. girlfriend and Jesse Pinkman. Hey! <laughs> That's not a Thanks. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, thought, well, I thought you said she was the girlfriend that Jesse Pinkman. Her so. father was worked at the uh, airport. Hey, the oh, hey. No, that's now that's. <laughs> that's not a spoiler to say your dad worked at the airport. You only find that out in the last episode of season two. You only find out that Flynn yeah. wears Chuck Taylors in season four, episode <laughs> eleven, I'm even though saying, it's not it's relevant important. to the plot at all. It's important information. Walter I, White had terminal I'm cancer. Sorry. Um. 
Actually, like, I like Jessica Jones, but I'm very biased because I want to do dirty things to David Tennant's body. So, like, no, David Tennant's a great guy. You know, I get yeah. freaky with him. He's great in that in that show. Like, I think he's he. I think he's the one that makes it really. You know what? He's really good oh, in. Um, there's this like kind of detective show i think it takes does he travel through time it? has it been running <laughs> on <laughs> british tv for 39 million millennia no it's on netflix though it's like um this this kid uh like early in the show he he like washes up ashore on the beach or whatever and like he's gotta figure out who done it it's in the small like uh english town or village oh it, broadchurch yeah broadchurch yeah 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 that's yeah, yeah, yeah. he's he's awesome in that that's a great he is. show yeah 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 it has three seasons, right? Worst drawing ever. I'm sorry. Uh, shoot. Because I, I watched the first two, and then I didn't watch any more. <laughs> this is. I don't know. Is what this the a fuck four this is. parter? It's a three parter. I. <laughs> is that a mentally? It's a department. Part mint. Oh, oh, it's a mint. Part mint. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. the, gotcha. as in right. the yep. mark. <laughs> the mark. Oh, uh, hi, the mark. That's true. Rory is in that. He is in Broadchurch as well. As is the lady uh, playing the the person playing opposite David Tennant in the starring role of Broadchurch is the villain or one of the villain characters from the Matt Smith's first episode, the Eleventh Hour. Whatever, Nerd. Dude. And season five, episode eleven, David Tennant uses a uh, <laughs> set of screwdriver to make a filing cabinet. Oh, that guy's got a shit. <laughs> He's thinking about it while he crab claws something. <laughs> yeah, it's a stinky one. Think about your dad. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, right. Because he's talking about doo doo. He's <laughs> thinking about it. DK oh. is Denmark. No, he's Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Yeah. It's very different. There's an X. Holy fuck. Oh! Oh, oh, okay, yeah. I didn't, no? I didn't mean to get it, but I got it. X. 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 <laughs> that was a fluke. Of all X. flukes. Cremen? Ex Excremente? Exam. <laughs> Excuse? Oh. Well, I got, I got one point for it. So. You see, you oh, see the one dude is saying some bullshit. And the gotcha. other dude's like, I'm not buying it. Mm. I thought he was excusing himself to go to the restroom. Mm. I just, I, I wrote, yeah. excuse me after pardon me. For shits and giggles, but that, it took it. So maybe, maybe don't draw a poop in a in a drawing that could be, you know, the first three letters are E X C. Robert, just saying. Two Excrement. other people got it. Robert, I got it too. I was the <laughs> other person. Exactly. <laughs> of the bunch, just got saying. a coconut gun. He's finally back. To shoot in spurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a nice table. That's, Thank no, you. No, that's a drone <laughs> shot of like the Parthenon. The All secret right. of the Parthenon is they say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is. <laughs> in Scatland, every house is a uh, Parthenon. <laughs> that's for darn sure. <laughs> Man, this just keeps going, huh? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, Bernice! <laughs> you killed my partner! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Um. Hmm. Alright, yeah. That's how those uh, look. Alright. That's, alright. It's a computer. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's it on, you fuckers? Desktop. A, a tablet. Fuck desktop. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> desktop. 
Hey, would you guys like to see my new desk type? I got it in <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> Didn't matter, <well. laughs> <laughs> oh god that is a ghost what what easy what oh that's dr doom <laughs> yeah what's he wearing the jacket <laughs> damn it i was gonna give him a funny face oh well Disc type. That's not really a, a hood. Ball. That's a cape. <laughs> Holy shit! What the? All fuck? right. God damn. Mathematician. Mathematica. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right. Oh. What? This, this is good. This drawing was already drawn. Me, actually. What? O? o? It ends in O. Got. Got. Look at the box. <laughs> yeah. What's in the box? Oh, it's in a box! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rob, what's in the box? Rob, what's you have to see box? what's in the box. I what's see the, box? the answer in chat, so I'm not going to... Mal, you have to <laughs> look in the box to see the answer. <laughs> 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 Failure has been sent is all I want to say about that. Oh man, that was good. I hate that. Now I'm not gonna be able to unsee that. <laughs> it's true. Your brain has turned it off before. because you gotta ignore it, right? So it's... Oh, it's an animal. <laughs> you want me to answer that for you or <laughs> is that a fucking I'm not gonna say it out loud just in case it no it's not a coyote. That's Alf. Wait. What the fuck is this drawing? Is that a kangaroo? What is this creature? <laughs> is it is it fuck off? <laughs> That's the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. That He's is got a... the gloves! <laughs> it is a kangaroo. Uh, oh fuck! Oh come on! <laughs> oh, it's the Australian. I don't know. Looks fake to me, guys. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I know it looks real, but you can draw something like this, right? Ah, it's the pouch part. <laughs> it's the pouch. This is the part of it. <laughs> Where's its head? Why did you just <laughs> neglect to draw it? Your head? brain fills in the rest of the lines, dude. <laughs> if I give you an ear, snout, and eyes, your brain will fill in the gaps better than I ever could. <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's a mouth drawing. Oh, but yeah, but a good one. He's getting really but fast but at it. He is. Da -da 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 -da. Long neck bottle. <laughs> oh, is he driving? He's got his arms wide open. <laughs> With her arms wide open. <laughs> oh, he's got a little square butt. You know, uh, did you guys see that? Uh, oh. Did you guys see that? Um, that. Like, yeah, I saw that one, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> the. Um, Mm -hmm. The drawing that this, like, eight-year-old made in, like, 200 A.D. <laughs> How do we know that it was an eight-year-old if it was drawn in 200 A.D.? Yeah, that's a good um, 
I, I don't DNA know. It was just, all over the drawing. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I just accept what I read on r slash history porn. But either way, like uh, it's pretty funny. They drew like wait, hold on, don't answer this because what he drew as his stick figure was like nope. a man like this, and then he had like he had like forty fingers. <laughs> Like, it was real fucking weird, man. What an idiot. (laughs) That kid has a learning disability. And then he would be like that. And he's like, I'm a Viking person. (laughs) Because he was a Norwegian or something. It's stupid. It doesn't even look anything like a human being. I don't know. (laughs) People were so stupid back then. Kids are stupid throughout time. I know it's screw. I just let Robert finish his story because I already lost the the domination from Austin anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Might as well take some time to pimp our channels. Oh, he's my ancestor? (laughs) Drawings like that, there's no way that eight-year-old kid's passing on his DNA. Mathematically, we go back that far. Mathematically. When you go back, everyone's like the ancestor of like everyone uh, 1800 years ago you think everybody's related though not everyone but i'm saying the odds are probably in the favor Mm, i don't know about this why don't we take some time to pick our channels we'll start with our mouth hello france uh (laughs) bonjour Uh, you can find me at uh, various places, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, Ooh, hey, lab video to Michael A.L. Fox. Uh, YouTube.com, the slash Michael A.L. Fox. Don's Lab Bibliotheque, yes. Um, and I'm actually, like, finally feeling half decent, so I'll, I'm getting back on the YouTube stuff with some uh, stuff, so. Vous êtes fatigué. Ne pas. <laughs> oui. Not allowed to and, say that. Aujourd'hui. Oh, how about you, uh, Robert? Yeah, yeah. Hello, France. Uh, I am Rob. Uh, you can find me at All Pack Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, we got the uh, Facatorio. And then uh, I think I'm also probably post up the VODs of CK2. And on Twitch, uh, most recently, I've been doodling, uh, which is fun, on my tablet. And also playing CK2. And we finally conquered all of Italy and made the Empire of Italia, which is uh, a beautiful thing. And then we're going to form Rome. It's going to be great. You called it it's so. Italia? Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called the Empire of Italia. You should have renamed it and called it Spaghetti Town. <laughs> that's racist. That's not racist. I take offense. Well, you, love, you love spaghetti. spaghetti. No, <laughs> call it Chicken Bacon Ranch. Hold the ranch. <laughs> Good one. Good Bill. reference, Mel. <laughs> Excellent comedic timing on that one. <laughs> <laughs> <Rob's> laughing. He <laughs> like. How about you, Austin? <laughs> I'm Austin. You can find me at twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf. Uh, I got a the meme stream on Friday. I'm going to play Skyrim for like 12 hours. You want to come watch that? Nice. Listen to Don't some funny to music. That. You got a problem, Elf? Yeah, I just started playing Skyrim. Well, I'm only playing it for one day so you can live. Why um, the hell are you <laughs> guys playing you, uh... Skyrim? Yeah, I'm going to start playing Skyrim on my stream tomorrow. So if you guys want to come back. <laughs> Malf, you've been playing like Skyrim for like 10 years. I played it like a couple years ago, at least a year ago on stream, but then my save file got corrupted, so I didn't get the, like the Skyrim uh, like out of my system. So, you know, we're we're back at it. Hey, Don't Kate. Worry. What's she going to play? <laughs> She's in stream on Wednesdays. Oh. So Jesus that's... Christ! <laughs> <laughs> so I have to host either Dan or Sinvicta. It's like asking whether I want my viewers to get, you know, exposed to smallpox or anthrax wow <laughs> Fuck, man that's brutal Jeez. i thought you were trying to lighten you were going in that direction i was like you'll lighten this joke up a little bit i think no <laughs> no all, all no. in dude um yeah thanks for watching the northern line live super show oh good i closed stream labs but because stream labs <laughs> is actually because it's good it will keep uh all the information so oh why don't you get the standalone app you don't even need to open up the website no <laughs> Uh, all right. Sin isn't that bad. He was joking, guys. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Attentive apathy. The egg roll. That Tardis dough. Try May. Local local one four three. JCMD thirteen. Uh, origin of death. Dafu fifteen. Danadox. Modus Bob. Caged elephant. Caged elephant again. Grimmier complex. JGO one. Frog stud. Skazane and scottified guy. More like scatified guy. 
Thank you very much for the subscriptions and the cheers from the final section of the show. Filthy Underling, Mercutio Laughs, and Tenth Karma. Thank you. Bottoms up and Mercutio Laughs. <laughs> I thought you were going to go Man Makes Plans and then Mercutio Laughs. <laughs> Down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> go watch... Uh, <laughs> Some smallpox Victor or Danthrax at uh, <laughs> twitch.tv slash Sinvicta and twitch.tv slash Dan Giesling, respectively. Oh, Bernice! Dude, I gotta watch that. I know, me too. Let, link me up. I haven't seen yeah. that. Yeah, yeah we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna watch a lot. We'll, yeah. we'll see you tomorrow for the NLS. See you next time. Thanks for joining me, co hosts and viewers alike. See ya! Bye! Bye. Bye.